Good afternoon. Welcome to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. I think uh, you have to watch Wake Up Call from uh, Wake Up Call from earlier on to know all about that. Uh, but listen, I am here, hugely excited for another launch day. And I say another launch day because hasn't this been a brilliant last few weeks? It seems to be that we are launching something new nearly every single week, and without exception, the launches have been amazing. This particular launch today has been so popular that we've had to get it back in, right? Um, it happens sometimes that you being savvy shoppers will go on the web uh, when things sort of launch a few days before and you'll shop and shop and shop. And over the weekend, I knew this particular collection would be popular, sold out, gone before we've even brought you the show. We've got it back in stock and already of the back in stock stock, 10% of that stock has already gone. Why are people, what? It's not, it's not really quite back in stock, is it not? Because actually what we're selling you now, we've, you've bought all of our stock. What we're selling you is the stock that's arriving in the next couple of days. So yeah, you, chances are Ben, they might have bought it all before it even gets here. Sarah's here. Uh, by the way, that's uh, Sarah. She was going to uh, get keeping a, him right, keeping him right. She was going to get a uh, she was going to get a big build up, but she's uh, she's not she's anymore. Honest. What it is though is the twist and pop dies, and if you've um, liked the mechanism and seen the kind of mechanism before in the precious memory set, this um, set now has its own collection, um, and it is absolutely brilliant. If you love a card with a mechanism, a card with a surprise when you open it up, you are going to absolutely love this. Ninety pounds or hundred and five dollars. It is on that delayed dispatch dispatching from a week today so it's not that long at all how does it all work why is everyone getting so excited about this i've got a very special guest lined up for this show it's the lovely sarah yeah they already know all about it come on guys let's get right down to the point let me show you how awesome these are because our favorite cards honestly one of my favorite ever ones to make is the twist and pop so the idea is it might look like an ordinary card when you look at the front However, when we open it up, you get that amazing reveal so that as soon as you open it, yes. you get the twist and the pop. Or we can do the portrait ones where it looks all right here, but then we get the twist and, and the pop. pop. All in one go, twist and the pop. Love it. So we've got loads of designs. Ben's going to take you through them. But before he does, I wanted to show you how easy it was to do, okay? Because in each of these sets of dies, you are getting basically two dies, Ben. So if I take the cupcakes here, for example, one of my favourites, if not my absolute favourite, you get the uh, special die that does all of the uh, the twisting and the popping. Yeah. You get the shadow to go with it, and you also get full instructions. So this comes with every one of the six full sets that we have. However, you need a seventh very special die to make it all work. That is this one here. She says, I've got my mechanism die somewhere. Here it is, here it is, folks, right. I've been <laughs> You'll definitely get one in the so, packet. You only need one mechanism. Yep. Once you own this mechanism die, every one of our twist and pops are going to work with it. So what I want you to do is I want you to cut out the actual twist and pop, right? I want you to cut out the outer die. So can you see this one here? Cuts out the outer die. And then I want you to cut out the inner die as well. Here's all the inner die with the workings, right? So you're going to cut out one of each of these, Ben, OK? Then you're going to stick this onto here and colour it all in really nice and pretty. Yep. So I've got one that I've done all of the sticking on and colouring in Love really it. nice and pretty, right? Amazing. Then with this one, you're going to fold it over and give it a nice bit of a burnish and back on itself, give it a bit of a burnish. Fold both of these lines both ways. Yeah. And then watch when you get to this stage, Ben, you push the middle bits together uh -huh. and it forms into that little dart. Can you see? So you Got push you. them in together and it forms this little dart. Now, here's how it's going to work. You're going to choose your card. I've just picked a nice card here that we're going to go into. And we're going to get our tape pen and we're going to just open this dart up. Now, what you do is on the inside of that dart, you put a little bit of tape and then I'm going to hold this down in the middle of my card and stick this closed, right? So that's now closed to the one side. Yep. Then you put the tape on this side, Ben, and I'm gonna close it this side, and so we have that mechanism stuck front and back. Got ya. There's the mechanism done, right? Now, with our cupcakes, the trick with all twists and pops is you're gonna to connect top left and bottom right. 
So as long as you're putting tape on the top left hand corner and the bottom right, or vice versa, it doesn't really matter as long as they're opposites, right? You then attach one to the front up here. Yeah. See how much of a bend you want in the middle, Ben. I'm going to go quite a bit of a bend there. Attach one to here. Just make sure that whole mechanism fits up and goes inside quite nicely like that. Give it a nice bit of a seal. And then now when you open it up, you'll see you get that immediate twist and pop. Yes. Yeah, so you're <laughs> going to close it and we're going to get that twist and pop. Now you've just watched me do that in a matter of around about three seconds. It was three minutes. And granted, I did all of the colouring in ready, but that is just the beginning. That is me wanting to show you just how easy it is. Once we've learned the basics, right, I'm going to be teaching you how we can do double twists and pops like Shush. this. So again, look at this. So it all closes down, forms a lovely book, opens up, makes yes. the most amazing double twist and pop. Or how about twist and popping on your scrapbook pages? No way. I know you're thinking, how does she twist and pop on the scrapbook pages? But if you just have a little hidden bit, awesome. Oh, you did it. Sarah likes cake. We know Sarah <laughs> likes cake. <laughs> There is Sarah with said cake that she likes. And this is the sort of stuff we're going to do. There are so many techniques, Ben. You guys are going to absolutely fall in love with these because the twist and pop is like the most popular, if not, honestly, I would say it's probably the most popular card, like, um, what do you call it, like a kinetic style of card that we've ever done. And you can now do it with all of these different styles. So Ben will walk you through all of that. I'll start and get ready for some of the more advanced demos. I've got the most incredible two hours planned for you. And if there's anything you want to see, ask me now or forever hold your peace because I am here at your disposal for two hours, Ben. Absolutely. There's loads of people already in Lacietta's in. Uh, Debbie says, good morning um, from the Finger Lakes of New York. Uh, Diane's in from Tennessee. Julia from Colorado. Pamela Dashwood from sunny Hampshire, UK. Christine says, good afternoon uh, from a cold but sunny Rotterdam. Uh, and Lynn Geddes says, hello everyone from Spain. Gilmore, hello Gilmore, says, looking forward to seeing Sarah and Ben doing the twist and pop dance. Oh, Oh, ben, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? We go. Can you do it? Yeah. Come on then. What you go? How are you? Twist and pop. Come on, bit more Twist into it than then. But no, no, pop. no, Ben, Ben, with yeah. gumption, you've got to be like with a gum shield. Pop. Oh, gum, gum shield. Oh, a bit more. Right? Kind come of... on, come on, give it a bit more. Okay, so you have got to go. <laughs> more, more. <laughs> Yes, come on, we're getting there. Yes, that's it, Mosby. I love it now. Back to the red coat days, <laughs> That was more like that. Why, yeah, see, yeah. come on, everybody. Oh, wow, well, there we go. I have learned the twist and pop dance. Uh, thank you for mentioning that, Gilmore. Um, let us have a look, though. Let us have a look, though, at this full collection. It is brilliant. And as Sarah was saying, you've got the mechanism within the collection. And once you've got that mechanism, oh boy, oh boy, you are away. If you love cards that do something, that have that kinetic motion going on, these are just brilliant. Um, let's show you what you're going to get within this collection. You've got your gorgeous frames in there. Take a look at that. Once again, it is all about just uh, adding that mechanism. You get the twist and the pop, that ornate frame die you're going to get. And then with that, you've got things like the little key included, the little keyhole. So it may well be something like this for like a 21st, a new home, something like that. Key to the door. It is just brilliant. And then you get all, why am I so out of breath? I've literally moved. Uh, I'm done a twist and pop. Sarah's now out of breath, but Sarah's getting fit, isn't she? Sarah's getting fit. Um, all right. Uh, right, back to me. Uh, then, show off. Uh, you're also then going to get the cupcakes, which we just saw a few moments ago. I mean, come on, who would not want uh, pop up cupcakes within their card? Ready? Boom. That is what I'm talking about right there. Ready? Boom. Cupcakes, absolutely loving it. And as you can see from the first little demo from Sarah there, so, so simple to achieve. We've then got um, your presents in there as well. From me to you, are you ready for this? Boom! I mean, come on, how great is that for a birthday card? Boom! And, and imagine this, you're obviously gonna do all of the decoration and make the outside of your card look amazing. So the outside of the card look amazing, then maybe people aren't gonna expect to get the twist and pop inside the card too. It is just- Did you, did you just... say plop there? What? Did you say plop? I did not say plop. It's not plop. plop, it's twist and pop. That's not what- twist and plop. You said plop. You definitely said plop there. Didn't he say plop for Rewind the tape, Johnny. The only person. He definitely person... said plop. It's not plop. It's twist and pop. I... 
Go on, carry on. I literally never said plop. Literally never said that. The, only, the first person that said plop was Sarah over there. Living up to her name, isn't she? See, living up to her. We were doing names this morning, Sarah, by the way. Um, it was uh, random facts about your names day. Uh, I looked up Sarah earlier on. I know what your name means. Now, that sounds very ominous. It sounds to me like I need to be making time in my diary to be watching Wake Up Call with Craig every morning now, because there's uh, sometimes some stuff gets talked about that I clearly need to know. The name Sarah means noblewoman or princess. Yes, it does, it does mean princess, yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. You carry on. Anyway, I will carry on. They're definitely called Twist and Pop. Pop, 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 I didn't really say Pop, Johnny. Shut up. Right, the heart's in there as well. Here we go. Twist and Pop. This is called Sending Love. And again, do you know how? We've kind of done it. We've put something in there for each and every occasion, literally. Then you've got your, um, your oval frames in here. Do you know what I love about this? Even before we've seen the little twist and pop going on there, you've got your little uh, perfume dispenser. You've got your lipstick, your little mirror in there as well. So you get all of these kind of added embellishments to pop onto your oval frames. And ready, twist and pop. Boom. Absolutely brilliant is this and balloons in there too i know you saw a little snapshot of this just a few moments ago but how amazing is this again for kids and kids at heart twist and pop look at those balloons absolutely phenomenal and now you've seen how easy it is to be able to do all of these you'll want to get them in your life remember in the full collection you get all of the, um, uh, the twist and pops that I've just shown you there and you get the mechanism included as well so six sets with the mechanism 90 pounds or 105 dollars is the deal on this today already saving 25.93 or 24.65 uh, and dispatching from uh, next monday so not like long to wait at all if you're a platinum member that is just 72 pounds or 84 dollars i just think these are absolutely brilliant and the kind of cards the kind of dies that you'll come back to time and time again because everybody wants this don't they in their cards absolutely um talking about uh new things new launches it's a new month and uh, new month means well, it's National Craft Month. Did you know about this? Um, all through the month of March, it is all about craft. And do you know what we thought? See, as we're Crafters TV, we're going to celebrate this. So each and every day through the month of uh, March, we are going to be giving you the opportunity to win. All you've got to do is uh, simply get in touch with us during the show, as you would normally do. You've got to comment away and then... Uh, during the seven o'clock show, uh, which today is Monday Makers, we will announce the winner um, of that prize. I'll go through that in full detail today, but that is actually today's prize, including goodies from the Sharon Callis collection. And I'm sad to say that badge that I found earlier on, which I thought I'd found on the floor, that is included um, in the... All right, Johnny, I've got to hand it back. I love a badge. I was talking about this the other day. We used to have badges on the blazer at school. Remember, I got the librarian's badge and never went in the library to help out. Just got the badge. Uh, but the badge is included in there too. Just get commenting and we'll announce the winner um, in the show. Monday Makers from 7 o'clock this evening, UK time. Uh, for those of you as well um, who uh, haven't heard... Bit of a, uh, an update as far as our um, uh, US shipping prices are concerned. Mentioned this a little bit earlier on uh, this morning. Uh, but the standard shipping delivery is um, increasing from 9.99 to 12.95. This is due to um, sort of continued pressure on the domestic shipments around the US. So six to 10 working days uh, and the free shipping threshold has gone up from 100 to 125 US dollars. However, there is great news on this front uh, because we've got a brand new express delivery, express services, you like, fully tracked, door to door, three to seven business days, which is 1995 uh, US dollars. So this is great for the fact, super quick, which means whatever you've ordered, you'll get it to your door nice and quickly. Um, and you will also be able to start crafting nice and quickly too. And there's also a a bit of an upgrade for our gold and platinum members as well because they're getting a bit of a Brucey bonus too Sarah aren't they? They are and I, I wanted to do something so those of you that shop in the UK will already know how our system works is the further up the club you go the more priority your orders become so every morning when our team come in all the platinum orders come off the printer first and they pack the platinum ones then the gold orders come off and then the silver orders then the, then the uh, bronze customers and then the regular customers so our club members 
members always take priority. Now what we've done is we've worked really hard with our shipping team to get this express delivery service brought in and they are saying three to five days. We're actually just covering ourselves with three to seven business working days. We've actually been trialing that for the last few weeks. A lot of you who are our platinum customers in the US should hopefully have, have, have seen that, that you can be getting orders in three, four, five days from us. So what we've done is we've officially introduced the new express shipping Ben. And what we've done is, so regular shipping, we have had to put our prices up a little bit because of all of the, the pressure on the shipments through America at the moment, which I'm sure you're experiencing from everywhere, yeah. those of you shopping in America. So it's gone from 9 99 to 12 95 for our regular delivery. But we've introduced this new express delivery. So it's 19 95 for regular people. However, all of the gold and platinum people, you will get all of your orders upgraded to our express delivery absolutely free. So so you're either paying the 12.95 as normal but you get upgraded to the express service or our free shipping threshold we've temporarily had to lift to 125 to cover the extra in the shipping but if you get to that 125 we will ship yours via the express shipping service absolutely free so we will take that extra cost of giving you the priority service track door to door and that's especially for our gold and platinum customers in the US so you are now getting the same premium service that our gold and platinum customers get here in the UK so yes hopefully I know temporarily we've had to lift the free shipping a little bit but hopefully the fantastic extra service we're able to offer kind of makes up for it absolutely brilliant and uh, of course um we are launching the brand new collection right now of the uh, Twist and Pop collection. Over 10% of the stock has gone. This will be dispatching from uh, this day next week, so not long to wait at all. Get your questions in. If there's anything that you want to ask over the course of the next um, hour and 40 minutes, uh, you can get in touch on Facebook and YouTube. And of course, just by doing that, you're automatically then getting into the draw to win all of the goodies as part of our uh, giveaway for the first day of Craft Month. Uh, so there you go. Facebook and YouTube is way you need to be asking those questions or just let us know what you love about this collection which is your favorite um, of the uh, mini collections so far you can let us know on Facebook and YouTube but let's get cracking Sarah what are we going to be looking at first come on I'm going to go right back to the beginning because I know my last demo we've had a few hundred new people log on since then so right back to the very very beginning Ben how each of these works okay the important bit is this little die here but you only need one of it and once you've got this die it works with all of the twist and pops that we have so this is your twist and pop mechanism and it makes exactly the right size twist and pop to fit with all of the mechanism dies that we have so the one that I was just showing you here Ben this yeah. is the cupcakes you'll see within each one we then get the main die and you can see there that die's got these scoring panels on as well so it gives you four parts with each of the scoring in but then you've also got the extra outer piece if you want to do like a shadow around it so I'm going to do the balloons this time so if I pop that to one side and I take my balloons out I love the balloons because it gives you like a portrait one as well as a landscape one so you've got those balloons there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the balloons out of a regular cardstock and then I'm going to cut the shadow out of a black cardstock so I've got the cardstock here and let me just get all of these. Now, the dies are super long, Ben. So ideally, they're brilliant to cut in your Gemini. However, if you want to cut them in your Gemini Junior, yep. they will fit through the width of your Junior. You might just need to put them in and then, um, you know, tip it through the edge and then put it in to cut the last little bit. Does so that make sense? It does. A few people asking about the measurements of the, um, the, uh, the actual dies themselves. So the balloon one, oh, for example. Sure. Uh, 9.8 by 3.6. They're 3. about 6. three and a half inches. Yep. And they go to uh, nine and a half, nearly 10 inches long. Yes. Yes. There you go. It's good to get it straight from the horse's mouth. Just stick them on then. Just give me your measurement straight away. So you can see I'm cutting both of those at once, Ben. You're going to go with your clear. You're going to go with your magnetic and then your top plate. And we are straight through the machine there. So uh, that gives you the main bit and then the shadow. The only thing you then need extra is the mechanism. 
Uh, lots of people getting very excited already. Joe saying, love the twist and pop cards, ordered and waiting patiently for dispatch. Uh, Lisa said, love these, ordered them earlier this morning to avoid disappointment. That's what I'm talking about, you see. That's what I'm talking about. Lots of savvy shoppers getting in this morning, getting in over the weekend as well, because you knew that this uh, collection would be busy. All of our launches over the course of the last few days have been super, super busy, and I knew this one was going to be no different. We've launched loads of stuff, haven't we, over the last week? Oh, it's been, it's it's been every a day, pretty much. Week. Can I just say, I feel very lucky. So sometimes we get a little bit of an inkling early on that something's going to be popular and we put yeah. in a reorder. So with these, when we previewed them to some of our trade customers, Ben, um, Craigie, it was a couple of months ago now, when we first had the samples in, uh, the reception to them was phenomenal. Yeah. So hence we had our original order coming in, we quickly put in a second order, which was due to arrive a couple of weeks later. Now our shipment for this arrived a few weeks ago, it's already in the warehouse. Uh, I couldn't believe it, just from the preview we did over the weekend, the fact that you guys had cleaned us out of <laughs> everything. So all the stock that we had that was supposed to be launching on today's show was sold out before the show even launched this morning. So what you are doing now is we're basically, you are getting your, this will be coming out of our advanced shipment from the shipment that arrives in the next day or so. So it's due into our warehouse in the next day or two. Uh, so we say delivery from next Monday, but actually, you know, as soon as they arrive, they will be winging their way to you, basically. But but that is how it's a, well, I was going to say it's a long time, Ben, I think this might be the first time ever we've ever had a product whereby you literally bought out our whole shipment yeah. before the launch. We've had it whereby, as soon as you've seen the demonstration, they've been really busy, yeah. but not whereby before we've even got to air, you guys have gone crazy for them. Now, that's the little dart that you just watched me put together, okay? What I want you to do now is, this is going to stick onto this part here. So if I just bring on this here, your tape pens, Ben, are absolutely brilliant for this because you need this great all over stick. What I would say is, a lot of people, a lot of our designers have, have chosen to use like wet glue to put these together. Uh -huh. I wouldn't. I would, I would recommend using the tape pen where you can because it's a nice, it's a dry glue. As ridiculous as that sounds, the dry glue is going to be better for this, right? And then what you want to do, Ben, is you'll see where we've got these. I'm just, it had the score line in already from having gone through the, um, oh, what do you call it? What, what's the word? It's gone through the die cutting machine and put the score line on. Yeah. But the score line hasn't gone through the black piece at the back. Oh, uh, okay. So I'm just giving it another score over the top just to make sure that now when I fold this over, you get that lovely crease line going all the way through both sets of the cardstock, right? And what I would say is crease them both ways. So you get that lovely crease go both ways because with the twist and pops, Ben, the more you handle them and the more you do the twisting and the popping as it was. <laughs> I love the fact that you're twisting and popping I'm whilst twisting you and say popping that. And people can't even, yeah. I'm like twisting and popping while we go up, right? But the more it twists and pops, the more you want it to be able to move with that. So you yeah. want the mechanism to be able to, to flex with it. Now, that's that one there, Ben. I've got the one here where I've actually done all of the colouring onto here. So I've oh, just yes. coloured in the balloon just to make them stand out. Now, whether you want to colour that with your, I did this one with my ink pads, or you want to do it with your pens, whatever it is. I've kind of got different ones as we're going along. But get your balloons coloured really nicely. And then let's get going on the card. So what I've done is, Ben, I've just started, can you see, I've just got a regular card yep. and I've got the actual design there on the inside. Now, I want the balloons to kind of be near the top. Instead of just having them in the middle, I want them to be near the top of this one. So as long as, because bear in mind, it's all going to close up and go into here. Yeah. So they can absolutely stay right at the top, even though... It, it doesn't have to be in the middle of the card is the point I'm trying and to make. And you don't necessarily okay? then need massive cards because there's a few people asking, no. what size card base do you no, need for whatever, this? They don't need to be that big, Whatever card do they? size you want. Yeah. Whatever card you want. Now watch this, Ben. Yeah. There's the middle line. So I'm holding this in place, right? And then closing the card to stick that to it, right? Then on this side, again, I'm sticking plenty of tape on there. And then I'm closing this side of the card over. Yeah. So that again, that will open. There is my mechanism. Brilliant. So it doesn't have to be in the middle of the card. And like you said, it doesn't have to be a really big card. No. You just want it in there. Now, any other decoration that you want to do. So for example, I had some of these. 
I want to add these on here. It's easier to do this now, Ben, yeah. as opposed to trying to do it like, you know, when you've got the twist and pop bits That's on. That's it, so it's going to get in the way, Add all it? these bits in. That's it, yeah, a bit of bunting. It's just nice. And do you know what I like about these, Ben? So when we've been designing them, just so you know, we've tried to do all the different occasions yes. where you might want to be set. So like the cupcakes, the balloons, the hearts, we've tried to cover everything. Apart from Christmas, they're non-Christmas designs, but they're everything other than Christmas. So that any card you do, doesn't matter what you're going to decorate on the front of it with, everything could have this extra added into the middle. Yeah. Now, remember for anyone who didn't see, you must have opposite sides. So you can see the mechanism there. Yeah. You either go top left, bottom right, or top right, bottom left, but put plenty of tape on. Can you see there? So we're going top left in this case, bottom right. And then people always wonder, like, how do you, you know, do you, you can either put it flat or we can have more of a bend in. What I generally like to do, Ben, is not too tight, but try and grip it onto there, right? So I've just grabbed it with my finger. And then I'm going to kind of pull it back and just touch that down so I could move them if I wanted to. Yeah. Then fold that up and into your card, right? Then once it's folded in your card, then give it a nice good rub. That's when we say, right, we're happy with where that is now, right? Now I'm going to make sure you're stuck down there. You're stuck down there. You're moving. Boom. Yep, I'm really happy with that. I love it. So now you can decorate the rest of the front of your card, but this is what I mean when I say your mechanism's going to get loads and loads of use, Ben, especially, might I just add, if it's for kids. Yeah. You make that for the kids, and they're going to be like, oh, that's the best card I've ever seen in my life. Literally. Literally, best yeah. card they've ever seen in their life. And you can see all I've done with that one, because I've positioned it near the top, a lot of the cards, if you have them further down, you'll see a lot of the trouble is it comes off the bottom. Yeah. Whereas these pop out into the top of the card. And then actually, the front of the card looks lovely. I've used one of our, um, but you know, our balloon Birthday sentiments. Birthday balloon sentiments, yeah. Yes. And I love that when you put like a little string on each of them. Great. But, Flying I mean, cupcake. that's fabulous. That is even better. Yes. Right? That is the difference. Every card you've made something gorgeous from the outside, it's about to become 10 times better with the thing going on on the inside. And it's not just your cards, because I'm going to show you how we can do it on the scrapbook page. For anybody who missed that, one of the demonstrations coming up later, we're going to do this on the scrapbook page as well. Uh, I've got a one where, we, in fact, should we do that next? Do you want me to get that? Yeah. Right, how about I get ready and we do the scrapbook page next, because that'll be fabulous. Um, but they all work in exactly the same way, Ben. And, and I'm just thinking as well, by the way, you know, don't just you know, think about cards, but even pop-up books for the, for the kids as well, you could easily adapt that into a little pop-up book. I think that's why I like um, cards like this with that kinetic movement. I used to love pop-up books when I was little. I still like them now, to be honest with you. And um, like Sarah was saying, do you know what? You can have a brilliant card, like decorated absolutely beautifully on the outside, like we saw there with that um, balloon, the little cupcake, you think, well, that's a great card. Don't expect then to get the card opened up and have that twist and pop inside as well. Really, really exciting. And actually, you know, you've got balloons in there, you've got hearts in there, of course, you've got your cupcakes in there too, but you've got the frames in there too. So actually, you know, you could decorate the frames however you wanted to decorate the frames. And they could be for, you know, whatever occasion, I suppose, really. You could put little pictures on there if you wanted to. You know, if you wanted to kind of, you know, Christmas them up or Halloween them up or whatever it might be, you have got so much scope. There's something for every season and every occasion within this collection. Now, Sarah was just talking about a few moments ago about the different adhesives that you might want to think about using. Uh, when you're using your, um, your twist and pop dies, we put together actually a twist and pop adhesive collection. So you have pretty much got everything that you want to use here. As Sarah was saying, uh, you've got your glue tape pen. Um, that is going to be absolutely perfect to use with this. Um, we're also throwing in uh, your collal glue too and then on top of that two lots of red liner tape uh, which is absolutely perfect because you've got your three mil by 10 mil and then you're also going to get uh, your 12 mil by 10 uh, uh, meters as well so again 12 mil three mil um, it's entirely up to you if you want to go for this but I think if you haven't got these kind of adhesives in your crafty stash get them in your basket as well 1050 or 1750 is the deal on that 840 or $14 dollars. really super handy to have and uh, you'll hardly even notice they're in your basket let me just tell you by the way the um main collection is already 20 percent of the stock gone all right uh with inside half an hour this is absolutely flying out the door so uh, get on the website twist and pop onto the website <laughs> twist and, pop on. <laughs> um, and uh, get these in your basket also something else that you might want to pop into your basket is this week's get it got it good collection 
Yeah, get it, got it good this week. You have got, well, basically, this works out that you're buying two, you get one free uh, with your cardstock collection. You have got your um, summer sunset, you've also got in there your uh, decorative decor and your navy blush. Double sided, uh, beautiful paper you've got for $39.90 or $49.90. It's 30 sheets within each. And as I said, it works out that you're buying two and getting one for free. I can't believe that we're doing this deal on these because again, these are still so, so popular. I would say three of the most popular um, uh, card pads, paper pads that we have here. And I tell you what, absolutely gorgeous. That is a deal worth snapping up. Um, if you've bought this card stock previously, you'll be getting it again, no doubt. So make sure you do get it. Got it. Good. Uh, right, keep those um, comments coming in. Loads of you already saying that you're jumping in and um, grabbing this. Lots of people as well getting very excited about the scrapbook. Diane says, love the scrapbook. Love the scrapbook page, says Peg. Oh my, my. Uh, thank you for sharing ideas for the scrapbook page. Love it, says Elaine. Um, lots of chat also about the mechanism itself. Bonnie's saying, um, can you get the mechanism by itself? You can get the mechanism by itself should you want to. And also, um, there's a few people chatting, and I think I know the answer to this, but I'll I'll double check with Sarah anyway. Um, Ellen on Facebook is saying, is the mechanism the same with the precious memories twist and pop? Right, so it works in exactly the same way, but this mechanism has been sized to work with the mechanism dies, right? So in the past, we've had the twist and pop, but when we did it in a little small way to go inside your precious memories, that makes lovely little small twist and pops. These are not your small twist and pops. These are the really big jump up, hit you in the face, look absolutely <laughs> fantastic twist and pops. So you need the slightly larger mechanism. So we've done that lovely big mechanism, which is exactly the right size to fit inside these cards like this. So hopefully that kind of explains why you need this size. But once you've got this, you only need the one size mechanism. That's what I want you to understand. You only need that one, then all of the twist and pops working exactly the same way with that one mechanism. Absolutely brilliant. Um, keep those questions coming in. Anything that you uh, need to know as far as uh, sizes, how it all works, all that kind of stuff, get those questions in. And remember, those questions will get you a step closer to winning that prize as part of National Craft Month, which starts today for the next, got to remember this, 31 days. Uh, we're going to be giving prizes away each and every day simply for commenting. You'll need to watch the whole day through, though, because uh, we announced the winner in our third show of the day, which is now between 7 and 9 uh, UK time, Monday Makers this this evening, the rotating stamps uh, coming back and those amazing um, uh, build your own village dies as well. They are coming up a little bit later on. But this is flying out the door. I'm not surprised and I'm so pleased because I love this collection. I love this collection. And I, and I know, by the way, over a fifth of the stock has gone now, dispatching from next Monday. This is flying out the door. And I know I said uh, recently that the Nitwick collection, Positivity, was my favourite. And then I know I said last week when I was with Sarah that that jigsaw die was my favourite. Uh, but I think I might have a, have a new favourite. I just, I just love cards that do something. I love cards that give you that kind of extra surprise. And as I said, I know for a fact that you will be making amazing looking cards that when the recipient takes out of the envelope, they'll go, wow, this is amazing. And then it's that next step, isn't it? Then to open the card and get the surprise, which people won't be expecting. And that's why I love this collection so much. And I also love it, as we've seen with Sarah, that it's so, so easy to do, even if you're sort of quite new to craft and you're thinking about, you know, kind of uh, making cards like this, it's so achievable for everybody so grab it today if you're dilly and dally you may well miss out because this is flying out the door 90 pounds or 105 dollars uh, less than 20 percent if you're platinum i mean take a look at that balloon die over there that sarah's got in her hands that's great and with the um, papers from the um, everyday fun collection it looks even better they look great don't they yeah and the thing is yes these are complicated cards ben or should i say these were complicated cards yes we took the complicatedness out of it so we make it easy and i'll show you every day I'm going to do another one with the, um, let's have a look, I've got, which one have I, oh, we're going to do the scrapbook page, we're going to yes. do the scrapbook page now, and once you understand how easy it is to pop that uh, mechanism in, I mean, that is just, it, honestly, they just become so easy, because we've done all of the measuring, that's what I want you to understand, we've measured everything for you, so all you're doing is the die cutting and putting it together. Now, Ben, I've seen quite a lot of questions um, on here about HSN, because yes, HSN are launching these uh, on HSN Craft Day tomorrow, and they're available on the HSN website now. So those of you that shop with our products from HSN, let me tell you, in the the HSN bundle, you get the cupcakes 
and also the balloons. Okay. So those are the two that come in the HSN bundle, the cupcakes and the balloons, okay? Now, you can choose to get that on auto ship if you want. And if you get that on auto ship, they've got four future shipments, which are exclusively available at HSN, which are things like the stars and the teapot and tea thing. And everything that you need to know about that will be in the booklet, the HSN booklet, and walk you through that. Those of you that's shopping with HSN. The other ones, right, so we've got, and Ben's got the boards, it might be easier for him to show you the boards, but can you see you've got these gorgeous, they're called Precious Secrets and Ornate Frame, which is basically your oval one and your square one. These are available on the HSN website as an extra. If you want to just go for a couple of these guys, or if you're buying the set from HSN and want to get the extras, these are an extra. And then also these two here are not available on HSN. So the heart and the um, presents, those two are only available here. So those are extras. So those of you who just want to get a multi-buy, we've got multi-buys on as well. So if you are getting the bundle from HSN to get the auto ship, you are already getting the cupcake and the balloons and you'll already have the mechanism. So the extra ones that you're going to want to go for are the heart and the present and then also the ornate frame and the precious secrets. So it's, it's just up to you what your budget stretches for, which ones you want to go for today. But I just wanted to make sure I explained all of that. Brilliant stuff. The multi-buy as well, if you just want to pick from the collection that we've got today, uh, two for 30 or two for 35. So something for everybody. But I would say to you, you know what, if budget stretches today, why not just go for the full collection? Because it really is phenomenal. Um, there you go. So 17 uh, 99 and 19 95 That's for uh, cake time. So if you want to go for that individually, that's the price individually. Or there's the multi-buy deal for you as well two for 30 or two for 35 uh, loads of love for this collection coming in by the way on the um, on the socials and just particularly lots of excitement about this scrapbook demo as well I've certainly learned over the past I would say couple of weeks since um, Craig did that scrapbook demo with the positivity collection lot of love for um, scrapbooking and isn't it great now that we're seeing more demos with that as well here on crafters TV because you want to see it so we are gonna be doing it you say that Ben but I made a whole scrapbook on Friday oh whole scrapbook um, and I came in this morning I said oh, did I win demo of the week oh, then? Sore point. and he's like oh no Debbie won demo of the week I was like what do I need to do folks I, need, I made a whole scrapbook and I still didn't manage to win demo of the week if you missed that show by the way on Friday what a fabulous show that was <laughs> we had an absolute hoot I made two scrapbooks actually uh, one for our Oliver to keep as a, like a diary during lockdown and then another one that we had as a like a family photo album from the last few months Aww. so go back and watch those shows they were fabulous it's too late to vote for Sarah something. though by the way no, it's too late to she's obviously not going <laughs> to win I could totally get in there with my scrapbook page today. So let's make the mechanism and get everything ready first yes. before we put the scrapbook together. So we're going to do the cupcakes. For everybody who's just joined us, because I see we're still getting loads and loads of so new busy. viewers, right? You'll see with each one of these, it's kind of a two part die. And you'll see this one bends really clever because it's got those little score lines in there as well. Then you've got the outer piece that goes with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the outer piece into the grey here and I'm going to cut the inner piece into the white and I've done this into a little bit of Nina cardstock um, so you're stamping alcohol pen card so that we can then do all of the colouring look I'm trying to position that Ben I'll just take a little extra second and, and put on my sticky tape so that we can get it absolutely perfect eh? what's the point we're not rushing we've got a whole two hours I tell you what mind how's everybody loving our new schedule you know, hey. it'd, be, it'd be great to hear the feedback. I bet there's a lot of people thanking us for not having to get up in the middle of the night and watch. And I bet there's a couple over in Australia who are going mad that they are now going to have to stay up and watch through the middle of the night. So, well, I know um, one person who was very pleased this morning about the new schedule was Craig. Because uh, <laughs> he's it. not going to lie, he was, uh, he was cock a hoot about it, wasn't he? Started at uh, starting at midday, but actually, no, loads of loads of people enjoying it, and loads of people I think enjoy the fact that we're doing your wake up call and then tagging on uh, your craft vault straight afterwards. And of course, the other thing exciting is you've got the new show to look forward to on a Saturday. Play your crafts right. Oh, and I can't wait. Bernie's uh, show, Soft Aside, is going to be moving to Sunday. Bernie uh, is just over the moon. Producer Johnny just saying he's just been chatting with Bernie ahead of the uh, the first 
show of uh, Softer Side of Sunday, and she is uber excited. It's nice to be, I, I kind of think it's going to be a no, nice in a new home on a Sunday, Sarah, isn't it, Softer Side? It's just nice. I, I like to do a little bit of sewing on a Sunday, so I think that's lovely for a lot of people to be able to do that. Yeah. So, right, here we go. Can you see that gives you those lovely cupcakes, and then it gives you them on the little bit of a shadow there? Okay. So, again, what I've done is, Ben, and, you know, it, it's not a colouring show, so I'm not going to sit and spend ages colouring them. I've coloured these with my tri-blends. So I've just got them all nicely coloured so that you've got that kind of 3D effect going on. But then what I would say is, watch this, I'm going to go over these and I'm going to use my tape pens. Yes. So I'm going to use the straight tape pen where we've got some straight pieces, right? And then I'll get the dotty tape pen out and I'll go over these pieces here where you would need the dotty one so that it doesn't show through. So that what we end up with is a really thoroughly stuck down front cupcake to the shadow at the back there, Ben. Oh, yep, yeah. makes yeah. sense? Mm -hmm. Now, if you were just using just the cupcakes on their own, you see, these are great because, can you see, it's got the score lines in? Yes. So it already has that score line in all of these places, so it becomes really easy for you to do all of your folding on there. And then once you've got the folding, it just kind of goes into place there, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. However, these don't have the folds on the outer piece. So if you're doing that and you're doing the extra layering, what I would recommend is just pop them on your scoring board, Ben. You know, we normally have a, um, let's have a little look. I'll do it with a pencil. You're right. We normally just, yeah, we normally go down one to make it a little bit darker so uh, you can yeah. see it on the camera. Yep, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to line that up, bottom and top, so that you can just score through that. And I'm going over it quite thoroughly, Ben, right? And it's just so that we can get that really, really nice kind of, um, can you see, just a nice score line, all right? So, got that nice scored on two of the lines, and then on the last one here, I just want that to be really nice and thorough, all right? And when I say nice and thorough, then what I want you to do is just fold and crease these. So this is, this bit here is called, oh, do you stick down there? I, I will be more careful. You won't need to worry about uh, this because you will be much more careful when you're at home doing this. But you're going to make sure that they're folded one way. Yeah. All right. And then fold them the other way as well. Okay. So that you've got, you remember what I said about you want the mechanism to be really, really fluid because these will get used so much. Okay. So there we go. We've got all this, we've got this piece in here ready to go in. And now I'm just going to get the rest of the scrapbook page, Ben, and I'm just going to start and assemble the scrapbook page together, ready to put that bit in the middle. Uh, you, you've got to be quick. This is such a busy show. And do you know what, as well as I think a few people are getting sort of used to the new schedule and we're getting more people sort of uh, tuning in now, just having a little bit of a look. Because um, yeah, as of last week, we wouldn't actually be on air right now, would we? So I think people are like tuning in now uh, and we're getting more and more people watching uh, each time we have a look. And I can tell you uh, that a quarter of the stock has now gone. 25% of the stock has gone. If budget stretches, go for it today. £90 or $105. If you want to go for the multi-buy, you can. If you just want to give these a go and go individually, you can. And for those of you who have been asking, you can get the mechanism um, as a separate deal. But this is the one to go for, honestly. It's all occasions covered off. It really, truly is. Uh, and again, things like scrapbooking, things if you want to you know, get crafting with the kids as well, this is the kind of thing that is going to ignite their sort of creativeness and want them to sort of get involved with um, crafting it is brilliant and as you've seen um, so simple to do I, I know this I suppose you know with the TV side of things is a, a bit of a side of kind of having a few bits and pieces ready so that we can you know get as many demos on for you as quickly as we can but actually inside 45 minutes Sarah's made loads of these cards already it's really swift crafting and like Sarah was saying it's like it's complicated it looks complicated to do doesn't it it's a professional finish but it's not complicated that's the point that's what, that's what I love about this. You're giving somebody a card and they'll go, wow, how, how long have you been crafting for? Years to be able to make something like that? I mean, that's you, the thing, you can be doing this in a matter of weeks. They days. look so complicated, which is why I love being able to do these demonstrations. Because as soon as you do the demonstrations, people realise, yeah. actually, it just looks difficult. It really isn't actually that difficult. Now, again, I'm doing the whole thing put together. I've done that slightly skew with you, Ben. And then I'm going to put this one nice and straight in the middle. And this is my card. Now, what I've done is I've designed it so that we can write on this piece here if you want. That's where we're going to put the twist and pop in. Oh, okay. Right? 
So I'm going to get all of this stuck down really, really thoroughly. Now, a great tip here, Ben, if you ever want a really great professional stick, plenty of tape on there, but then also stick tape to tape. Oh, because okay. if you go tape to tape, yeah. you get an even more professional stick. So I can just go with that straight on there. Is that cheesecake? Uh, that that cheesecake it is, isn't Ooh. it? It's a very good looking cheesecake. I do believe it was our Emma's mum had baked us a cheesecake and sent it in. You look like you're pretty happy in that picture. Uh, I was pretty happy that day. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty happy that day. I'm not going to lie. Right, here we go. So, there is our mechanism. So, I want to open this and the mechanism totally pop out there, right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to cut the mechanism first of all. So, you're going to pop this, you're going to run this through your machine, and when it comes out, it's going to look like this, right? So, can you see it's put the score lines in for us as well? So, if I just get this folded over to perfection, I like to fold it, give it a nice bit of a nice bit of a crease like that, Ben, right? And then fold this over. Right, so that goes over there like that, crease it one way, yeah, and then fold it back on itself and crease it the other way. This is the bit that you don't want to scrimp on, okay? Take your time on this. Get that one perfect, crease it that way, turn it over the other way, crease it that way. If you've done all of that that I've just shown you, Ben, you'll find that it will push together and it will come into that little dart of its own accord. Okay. You know, if, if you've really creased and burnished those crease lines every which way and watch, that will become second nature. Yeah, yeah. Now, watch this. This is the bit that everyone thinks is complicated, but it's really, really easy, right? Put it in the middle like this, deciding where you want this to be, but with that point right up against that crease line, yeah. right? So I'm right up against the crease line there. And I'm putting my tape on that little piece there, folding it over, sticking it down, and then opening it up, okay. right? Uh -huh. Then we're going to put it on this little crease line again, right? Loads of tape on, folding it down, sticking it, opening it up, right? That is going to give us there that mechanism. Now, once we've got the mechanism, Ben, we're going top left and bottom right for the tape here. Now, bear in mind, I'm trying to do this kind of on an angle so the camera can see this really easily. It'll be much easier for you because you'll just lie it flat. Then, people always wonder, do you stick it really tight? Do you open it up a little bit, however you want it to do? What I find is, where we've got the tape on, don't stick it down hard, but kind of place it yeah. with your finger, uh -huh. right? And then see how much of a fold you want. I quite like that as a fold there. And then I'm placing it with my finger here. So I've placed it, but I haven't really stuck it. Then just try, right? So close this over. And if I just lift this up for the camera for you to see, right? I'm closing this over to make sure that I'm happy with how that comes into place, right? Once I'm happy with it, then you can open it up, then you can start and do your real pushing it down, sticking it together. Because now I know that is open. I'm really happy. So if you look at that from the front, really happy with how that's opening and the mechanism is tweaking out as we go there. Love it. And can you see what I mean about that mechanism being really strong then? Yeah. You know, the more I play with it, the more it's still going at it. And what you'll find is, right, so if these aren't very well made, these mechanisms, can you see here, will start to lift a little bit here. I'll let you have a little look from the front, it might be easier to see. And you can see how they can start to lift a little bit there, right? This is why you put plenty of tape on forks and you stick that down really, really thoroughly. So I'm sticking these down. So now, yes, I can see that from the front there, you can see that's in nice and tight. And also around on this corner too, that's stuck down really nice and tight. This one here just needs a bit of a push into that corner. Once it's in, yeah, there we go. We've got a really nice open Love mechanism. It. And then all I'm going to do to finish that off, I've got here, it's time to eat cake and drink Prosecco. It's always time for that. <laughs> God, dear. And There's a I'll card put, from Mrs. M if I ever heard one. There we go. If I put that on the bottom, it becomes a little bit more obvious that we're going to open this. Yeah. And then up on the top corner here, I'm sure I've got some of these lovely big foam pads. Yes. So a couple of nice big foam pads to go on the top corner. Brilliant. And there is my fabulous scrapbook page. It's time to eat cake and drink Prosecco. And then there we go, our cake's inside. I, fabuloso. It is fabuloso. And, and, and just as is there, fabuloso, uber fabuloso, when it's opened up. If you, um, who was asking? Regina was asking, which paper pad was Sarah using for the scrapbook page? I think that is the quintessentially English 
Um, uh, Paige, look at me with my product knowledge. No, it is definitely, it is definitely that one because that is one of my favourite ones as well, Regina. Um, and I tell you what, there's a few people asking again about um, uh, HSN. So we'll come back to that in just a second and ask Sara to recap on that. But loads of you going wild. Requests coming in for the uh, next set of Twist and Pop dies. Wow. Uh, requ request for graduation caps. Oh, and um, Christmas twist and pops as well. But as I said, with Christmas for now, you could, because you've got the oval frames and those fancy frames, you could put your own little Christmas decorations you could. on those as well. Christmas pictures on there. So you've, you've kind of got the, the ability to sort of do that already. And Hadassah on Facebook, Hadassah, I love your comments because Hadassah, I learned from you awesome source, which is one of my favorite sayings. I, I don't sound great when I say it, awesome source. Uh, but this is a new comment from you. It says, oh my snickerdoodles. Oh, my snigadoodles. How cute would the nitwit collection look popping out of this using the twist and pop mechanism? That's why I love that the mechanism is included. The sky's the limit with this, honestly. Get yourself onto our website. Get yourself, um, you know, whether you're going for this, whether you're going for the multi-buy, whether you're going for individuals, whether you're just going for the mechanism. 30% of the stock has gone already. Uh, dispatching from this time next week, so it will be with you ever so soon. Let's give you time to check out your baskets because I know there's so many of you not wanting to miss a demo and you think, ah, if I go to my basket, I won't be able to see the demos. So let's give you time to do that and then we'll come back uh, and we'll show you even more with this amazing collection in just a second. Have a look at this. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a gold member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order, and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery carrier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends, to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly ditchy mag direct into your inbox giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. There we go, details of Club Inspire. And actually, if you have just joined us for the first time today, uh, we've got some exciting news as far as our uh, shipping is concerned, Sarah, haven't we? Yeah, can I explain it to them, Ben? Because here's the thing, right? Uh, when you're watching that video, it's always been, so when I designed the club, my thinking was that basically, the further up the club that you went, the more of a priority you were, and you got priority service within our business, okay? So as you see, in the UK, we, we have a next day career delivery service. So all of our orders go standard delivery, but the special people, the loyal club members, the platinum and golds, they get theirs on a next day career delivery service. Now we can't offer next day for the US, but what we can do is we've managed to put together an express service so we've worked with the shipping companies and the express service it's actually more express than a lot of the companies in america i've seen are offering ben is we can get it to you we're seeing in three to seven working days yeah however in all honesty the normal service is three to five so three to seven is like the core this is us managing expectations with COVID. i will warn you there are a couple of places in the country and you'll know where you are who you just take a couple of days longer again um for everything to get to you namely like the people out in hawaii for example <laughs> but, um, 
But other than that, we are on, we are basically, we have an express service, which is three to seven business days. Now, what I'll explain is, right? So our normal shipping, it used to be, Ben, that it was $9.95 and then free over $100. What we've had to do is because of all of the excess, the pressure on port and congestion and all the shipping around the US, we've had to increase our shipping temporarily. So it's gone from $9.95 to $12.95. And then the free shipping, instead of being $100, we've had to temporarily put it up to $125 while we've tried to manage with kind of like us just absorbing that for the last few months. But it's just showing that it could continue for another couple of months. So temporarily, we've had to put shipping up to $12.95 for regular delivery and $125 for free shipping. However, what we have done is we've now introduced this new express shipping service. So this is our fast one that I was telling you about. Now, regular people can pay to have theirs sent on an express, and that's $19.95 to pay to upgrade your shipment to that express service. However, all of our platinum and gold people, we will automatically upgrade your shipment to the express service. So if you if you are ordering under $125 and paying the $12.95, we'll upgrade yours to the $19.95 service level. Or if you've ordered for free shipping, so you've hit $125 or above, you've got yours free shipping, then what we're going to do is we're going to send yours on an express service with free shipping. So it's like we've managed to arrive at that elevated service for our really special gold and platinum people. And temporarily, we're at that slightly higher threshold. Just means maybe you'll have to not order quite as often and bundle your orders together or try and order extra things like your, your tape pens and your glues to get to that 125. And we will send that on the express service for you. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Hopefully that is um, everything explained for you. The other thing which a um, few people are asking about, Regina being one of them, can you just explain again um, the, the HSM bundles? Because you, you explained earlier on about um, what we get here and what you might get there. So yes, when do I we can. get what? And then you've got the boards, haven't you, Ben? Yes. Well. So I'll explain, you can show you. Right. The two main designs, which are the ones I'm demonstrating today, so that those of you who are choosing to shop on HSN or Create and Craft here in the UK or here with us at Crafters TV, I'm focusing on the balloons and the cupcakes because that is what comes in every bundle, whether you're ordering it from us today or you're ordering it from HSN uh, later tonight, for example, right? Now, if you order it from HSN, it's basically those two with the mechanism make up your core bundle. And then you've got four future order ships which are exclusive to HSN. So that is the HSN bundle, okay? What we've got extra is we've got these two here, which are your beautiful ornate frame. So you've got the one that's called ornate frame, which is your oval. And then you've also got the one which is the rectangle. Now those are available. These are all on uh, two for a special price. So if you want to get two for 30 pounds or 35 dollars, you can. So if you're going for the HSN bundle, you might want to get the ornate frame and the precious secrets as an extra. And then also we have the amazing sending love and me to you. So these ones are not available through HSN at all. HSN did not select these ones at all. So these ones here, you do want to get them on the two for 30, 30 pounds, $35. Or you might want to get all four of these extras. And that's just those of you who've already pre-ordered this from HSN for tonight, Ben. So there you go. L lots of options and lots of different ways for you to um, to buy all the details on the website. Uh, but listen, whichever way you're going, particularly if you're going for the full bundle, get your skates on just a little bit here because I think last what we over. Uh, almost a third of the stock has gone and we are only just approaching uh, an hour of the show gone. So get in nice and quickly and grab these deals. Um, lots of people loving that scrapbooking demo that we just saw, Aisha just saying, uh, perfect for scrapbooking. Didn't even think of that. Thank you for the tip, Sarah. Uh, and Cindy Thompson on YouTube saying, uh, Ben, I think the whole CC staff should do a line dance doing the twist and pop dance. I kind of feel this, Cindy, if, if that was to happen, we'd need to add a few more steps in. I used to take line dance classes. Here we go. We used to take line dance classes back in the day. And I think you'd need a few kind of box steps in there and um, maybe a few electric slides and stuff. Oh, oh she's got props as well now. Look over there. <laughs> I think it's a really good look. I mean, you're not getting the feet. I've got all the feet moving. Oh, I can imagine. Here. Although it's not really a good look because it was really cold this morning, so I've got my big Ugg boots yeah, on. Yeah, that's not... So it's not uh, really the best look there, but you know. Yeah, I mean, 
I kind of need like a boomerang video of you doing that, I think, really. That could go, that could go viral. A ben, great, great ben stretching, Ben just by learned the way. how to do boomerangs this morning, so Ben's particularly <laughs> pleased with himself. If you go and follow Ben on Instagram or on his Facebook stories, he's managed to do a whole boomerang of one of his cards. He was dancing around the studio like he was the bee's knees before the show. He was so pleased with himself. And I managed to link it to my Facebook story as well, so not only did it go on my Instagram, it went on Facebook too. And, uh, yeah, very proud of that. And I put some little flashy bits on it too, which was pretty good uh anyway let's talk about what's going on this month because it is march and march did you know is national craft month so do you know what we thought as seeing as we are crafters tv we ought to do something to celebrate so each and every day during national craft month so for the next 31 days we are going to be giving you the chance to win this is today's bundle now i thought initially no word of a lie i thought that it was going to be one item from that bundle oh, per day no, ben, that's what i thought it. we've gone big i know we have we've gone big super big yeah go big or go home i mean there's all sorts of awesome goodies in there um you've got some of my favorite stuff from the sharon callis collection with the uh, the quilling die included in there there's cut and embossed folders in there there's even i've never seen it before and i nearly half inched it the crafter's companion badge is included in that as well if you want to win that bundle i'll go through it in the studio in a little bit by the way um, you, all you have to do is comment during this show or during the next show and we will announce uh, the winner uh, in Monday Makers from 7 o'clock UK time. So that is exciting, National Craft Month. Also, by the way, I've been waiting to do this, I'll probably get it wrong now. Um, it is, of course, um, St David's Day for all of our Welsh viewers today. So, Dith Goyle Dawi Hapith. To all of our Welsh viewers, Bora da. <laughs> Impressed with that, anyway. Oh, you didn't tell. I, I didn't get the briefing where we had to learn some Welsh for the show today. So, Dief um, go, Dief Goyle Dawi Happis. Dief Goyle Dawi Happis. Yeah. Happy St. David's. Happy St. David's Day. Oh. Yeah. Happy St. David's Day. Dief Goyle Dawi Happis. Something like that, yeah. Something like that. Right, yeah. brilliant. <laughs> Shall I crack on with my next demo? So, I saw this card made by one of our designers earlier and I thought. That is awesome because what she's done is she's done the balloons, but she's put them onto acetate. Oh, so I love it looks that! Like they're floating. Yes. Now I hadn't seen this before I'd done my demos, but I was quite happy to adjust one of my demos to make it out of the acetate. So I thought, right, let's get this on. Let's give it another little go, right? And let's do it with the acetate. So what I've got is I'm going to do this two reasons. One so the camera can see. And the other one is it cuts a little bit nicer. So watch this, right? I've got my acetate, but then I've also got a sheet of black card underneath, Ben. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the outside piece of the butterfly. It's not a butterfly, it's a balloon. Uh, and also the uh, mechanism in the acetate. So you're cutting through the acetate into the black card. So I'm going with my clear plate, my magnetic, and then I'm going with my top plate on there. And I'm going to send that through and it'll cut in perfect. Now, I know we've had a few hundred people join us since we started the show. So I did explain before, these dies will absolutely fit through your Gemini Junior. They're quite long, so it might be that you need to cut and then push it up and then cut the last little bit in your Junior. But they will fit through the width of your Junior, absolutely no problem, okay? So, here we go. Oh, stop you moving about, right? So, what I've got here is, there is my mechanism, right? Okay. And then there, even though you can't see it, is my acetate for the actual balloons, yeah. right? So all you want to do from this point, Ben, is take this and you want to stick your balloons onto your acetate. Now, I have already done that. So I've done one where I've cut, cut the balloons out as well. So if you can see, I'll show you one. You're going to cut the balloons out in white. So this is this part of the die here, right? Once you've cut the balloons out, colour them all in, stick them onto the acetate. So we've got that lovely piece of acetate and then of course you need to fold it mountain and valley and then valley like this. So you've got that lovely bit of a kind of a fold on there. And I love the idea of these balloons floating, Ben. I think it's just absolutely genius. Now, what you're going to do with this clear one here, right, is you're going to fold onto all of those crease lines. Now, I'll be really honest in saying your construction weight acetate is absolutely the best to work with this on, okay? So construction weight acetate, however, watch what I'm doing, Ben, is I'm folding these over and burnishing these crease lines. Yep. Can you see? Now, really important, uh, you might want to keep your... This is why I keep my table really tidy all the time, Ben. All these bits of glue, which you can't see, are all, are all sticking on there, right? So, if I fold all these over, once you've got that folded into place, 
you will find that this, let's have a look, I'm just going to fold this over back on itself. Yep. So this will then fall into place with that point. Can you see? And you get that perfect oh, you look, point. Yeah, there you go. Yep. So that's yeah. what we're going to stick inside our card. So let's just get the actual card itself. And I've got some pieces ready to go with it, right? So I've just stuck this. So I've got the balloons ready to go. Bit of, bit of backing paper in here. And I've stuck the balloons ready. I'm going to get the front of the card ready as well, Ben. So all I'm going to do, I did a little bit of fake matting and layering around here. So I, I gutted the inner side of my card so I didn't waste anything, right? So that's going to go on the front there. And then just nice and simple, I've got It's Your Birthday. And I'll stick that on with some of my... Uh, super size foam pads here lovely so that's going to go onto the front part of the card and i always find it's easy to get the front part of the card ready first and then we'll go inside with that mechanism right so oh, hang on, i've unfolded that again so let's just get this folded into place ready and then, oh hey here we go, lots right. of love by the way just whilst you're that coming in for your uh, your twist and pop dance i never realized that this was a thing until today um Michelle just saying, uh, Ben, you've got loads of great videos there uh, for when you finally write Sarah's shanty, Sarah's song. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. That's well, going to be interesting, isn't it? It yeah. will. Uh, <laughs> and Liz, congratulations to Liz. She says, could not resist any longer. I just had to get the twist and pop mechanism and toppers. I absolutely love them. Um, and Treasure Heart on YouTube asking, I don't understand this, will the teapot be available on the CC website? Right, so the teapot is one of the exclusive auto ships on HSN. Oh, uh, okay. So all I would say is if, you, if you're wanting to get the HSN auto ship, okay, then you need to get the designs that are in the auto ship and they are exclusive to HSN, but then you might want to get the others, so the hearts and the... Um, presents. The hearts and the presents yeah. on here. Yep, that makes sense. Right, are you ready to go inside with this, Ben? So I know it's a little bit harder for you to see. Oh, it's actually oh, no, quite easy for you to see that when it's yeah. all folded, isn't it, right? So, put it into the middle, right, and get that. Now, it's up to you if you want to go right in the middle. I remember what I did before. I moved my last balloons a little bit closer to the top so that when they opened up, they went up to the top part of the card and the card would still stand open like this. Yeah, because if you have them too low down, they'll kind of get stuck on the yeah, bottom yeah. of the card. So if you want to be clever and put them a little bit near the top, you can do. So I'll put mine around about here, I think. Just make sure that the card shuts, right? And then you have tape all over this part. Now, this is the bit where it's worth getting the stick really, really good. So the stick goes all the way down there. And then also all the way over this part, plenty of tape on there. And I'm going to stick this part all down here, right? Now, at this point, if you want to make sure it's really, really well stuck, this is not a bad idea because once your balloons are on there, it's a little bit harder to get in and do all this sort of sticking, right? So notice I'm just getting right in there with my tool just to make sure that we've got that lovely mechanism opening up and that is going to work really, really well. Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. So then, if I just look at it the right way up for me, I'm putting tape on the top left and also the bottom right, okay? And it doesn't matter if it's top left, bottom right, top right, bottom left, as long as they're opposite corners, right? Now, remember what I said before, you're going to kind of hold this in place, Ben, over top of there, and then hold this one in place below here. But not exact, because what you want to do is you want to pull this into place, right? So I want to just pull this and make sure all this, if I try and do it, I'm trying to do it back to front for the camera here, Ben, right? You're going to make sure that all this is going to close off together, yes. right? So top left, bottom right, folding it in together. Once we're happy, that's it there. So you can see it there, pushing it into place. And then you're going to re keep opening it and checking. Yep, I'm happy with how that's opening, how that's... And it just takes a little bit more fiddling with a bit of acetate. How that's opening, how that's closing. Yes, happy with that Judy. now. And then once you've got that closed, you're going to just set it down. So now it's your birthday like this. And then we open it up and those balloons pop out. Love and it. And because they're on acetate, they yeah. look like they are completely floating in the air. It's so That's cool. Whatever. And the more you open the card, the more they really pop out. Yeah. That to me is what's awesome. And then the fact that I had them near the top, 
means we can open that right out and it'll still stand. So that's how you do it with the floating balloons yeah. with the acetate, but you definitely want that lovely construction acetate that we do, Ben. And it's almost, I think, um, worth opening and closing it a few times before you send it as well, doesn't yes, it? Yes, so just get the mechanism going. Yeah, yep. absolutely. That's great. And actually, again, shows you um, more ways that you can use this collection. Using the acetate as well to make those balloons absolutely sort of like fly off the page is just brilliant. 35% of the stock has now gone. What are you waiting for? Check out your baskets. Producer Johnny just telling me loads of you have got it in your... I know why. Loads of you have got it in your baskets and you're waiting because you don't want to miss the demos. You want to see what Sarah's making. Uh, there's an opportunity now for oh, you, though. Sarah's tidying up now. You're yeah. not missing anything. Exactly. I'm just going to be rabbiting on for a bit. And you know what? You know... I just, I mean, don't listen to me. Get your baskets checked out now. That's what you need to be doing. Um, all, all the good stuff's coming in about five minutes. Uh, 90 pounds or 105 dollars is the deal on this. Already saving on launch day, 25.93 or 24.65. Producer Johnny and I always have this conversation. Brand new product, the launch day of it here on Crafters TV. Yet we're not selling it to you at full price. We're giving you that saving, which is just absolutely crazy. And platinum members, don't forget, that's 72 pounds or 84 dollars with your 20 percent. Discount. So lots of reasons to shop and buy. And I think it's worth um, just quickly going through the boards again just to show you um, all of the different mechanisms that you are going to get. So uh, you have got here the, uh, the gorgeous presents. I mean, look at those. Absolutely brilliant. Once you've got that mechanism, you get the, uh, the toppers and bam, absolutely amazing. And this is the point here, like we said, you'll decorate your car brilliantly, I know, but then sending lots of love, boom, you've got your heart. So it's like a Valentine's card, as a, you know, a card just to send love to somebody. How great can you decorate up the front of your card, but then inside, nobody's gonna be expecting those hearts just to um, twist and pop off the page. Here's those frames, and that's what, this is what I was talking about here. Do you know what? You have got some of the decorations um, there, should you wish, so you can use that little uh, key embellishment and the little keyhole there as well so you know key to the door cards maybe it's a new home card but then also you have got space on these to be able to pop your own kind of decorations your own photos on there too so if it is things for like Christmas uh, a few people talking about graduation cards as well if you wanted to pop your own photos on there absolutely um, you can do that as well and it's the same again um, with the oval frames you know you can decorate these up exactly how you wanted to decorate them I mean I love the fact that we've got that little ornate mirror we've got the lipstick going on there too um, your little um, what's that called that's got a name for it it's not a perfume bottle or a spritzer ah oh, what is it called the little perfume bottle there oh it's got a fancy name it? an oh. atomizer is an it? atomizer oh Thank look you. at me and all my stuff oh, i know i knew you'd know uh, but there you can decorate you know because you've got all the embellishments in the kit but then who's to say that you don't decorate that up exactly how you want it to decorate up and here we've got some upside down cupcakes oh these are both upside down so these are the cupcakes <laughs> upside down cakes on it yeah uh, there you go there's your cupcakes it's just brilliant isn't just it and look how well their mechanisms I know. work this is and what the I'm... thing is these have been handled and handled and better used and played with and all around the office and yeah. still work an absolute treat yeah believe you me i was playing with these before the show these have been opened uh numerous occasions let me just tell you and then last but by no means least also upside down uh, we have got your uh, little balloonies as well and I just think these are brilliant like Sarah was saying there's so much for every occasion with all of these and once you've made one card, it's the kind of set that you'll just come back to time and time and time again. Um, you're getting all of these today. Uh, dispatching from next Monday, so these will be with you in absolutely no time at all, uh, but we're over 35% of the stock has now gone. Loads of you loving these, loads of you loving that demo with the acetate as well. Let us know which is your favorite, um, one of the mini collections within the, um, the new bundle that we've got here. And also, by the way, yes, thank you, Johnny, so much going on currently. We need you to vote for your demo of the show as well. I know we've still got 45 minutes remaining um, and I know you all love scrapbooking at the minute although although not well enough to vote for Sarah's uh, project as whole uh, book oh, Ben was, Sarah's whole book that she did that is a whole bit whole book didn't win that's a uh, Hash, hashtag orcs, that, isn't it? Eek. Oh, we love scrapbooking. Show us more scrapbooking demos. Scrapbooking's brilliant. Oh, we love scrapbooking, scrapbooking demos. I'll do a whole scrapbook. Bound to win craft of the week. Doesn't win. Eek. Hashtag eek.
Uh, but yes, anyway, hopefully, hopefully you'll vote for Sarah this week because she's just done another scrapbook demo with the twist and pop. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, don't forget by Sunday. Do you want a reminder of what we've done and what we've yes, still please. got left to do, okay? So this is the demo that Ben's referring to where I showed everybody how to do demo the of the week. cupcake twist and pop in your scrapbook pages, okay? Crown it now. We've also done, let's have a little look, I've put them over there, haven't we? We did the balloons one, where I've put my balloons right near the top. So, twist, pop, twist, pop, <laughs> twist and pop. Can we get fabulous. some music on, please? Need for a little dance. You've got to be dancing around your craft rooms. Twist and pop. It's just that mechanism every time works an absolute treat, Ben. I love how these work. So that was the balloons. Uh, we also did our cupcakes one. Uh, here it is. So we did the... Uh, twist, pop, twist and pop on the cupcakes, <laughs> right? We've got the hip movements going now, it's even better, right? So we did the cupcakes one as well. Yeah. I am trying to do, I'm trying to focus on balloons and cupcakes because I know a lot of you are watching this kind of as a masterclass to learn for HSN because the balloons and cupcakes are in the HSN bundle as well. We've also got the presents and the fabulous hat. And of course, what we haven't talked about, Ben, is there's gonna be a craft along with this. So yes. you get these delivered in the next couple of weeks. Well, those of you who are Golden Platinum, of course, will be getting yours on Express Delivery Service, whether you're in the UK or the US. And then we've got our live craft along in just a couple of weeks' time where you can be making these cards. You could be one of the ones live with us in the studio, but I want to know in the comments who's ordered these and who is up for joining us live in the craft along absolutely we've got an email address that you can get in touch with us on as well if you want to get involved in the craft alongs if you'd like to be uh, a guest um, but the craft along date for these put it in your diary is the 16th of march so that is two weeks tomorrow um, if you want to be involved in that craft along email us for now on the usual email address studio at crafters companion um, .co .uk, .co .uk .com. Uh, why do I get confused on my first event? .co .uk, studio at uh, crafterscompanion.co.uk uh, for that craft along, which will be two weeks tomorrow, as I say. So by that time, you know, if you're getting this today, the chances are um, you will have this ready and raring to go. Uh, and talking of craft alongs, by the way, worth signposting you to tomorrow's craft along. Uh, if you've got the uh, Nitwit Positivity Collection, uh, that is going to be our craft along. Myself and Jan going to be taking you through um, all of that but lots of craft alongs to look forward to as I say uh, but the one for this one two weeks tomorrow just a few questions again Sarah about um, sizes there's a couple of questions coming from the US about um, what the smallest size card these would work with and questions about A2 size cards whether they would work uh, with USA size yeah they A2 absolutely size. will do you know what the easiest thing for me to do is I've got here a mechanism not inside of a card so if you see the mechanism not inside of a card how about i fold this down and give you the workings of just the mechanism yeah so just the mechanism in its smallest size fits in a five by four card right which means if you're wanting to put it in an a2 card which is four and a quarter by five and a half this would four and a quarter by five and a half would fit in comfortably so it would fit in an a2 card it would fit in a five by i mean there's a five by seven on my base here it fits lovely in the five by seven so basically even though all the cards we're showing you are quite big and impressive the actual mechanism itself is pretty small so just just to remind you that the size that people want to know is what's the smaller size of the mechanism it's less than four inches so it's about three and three quarters by five so three and three quarters by five, and as long as your card is bigger than that, it's going to absolutely work a treat. Brilliant. So super versatile, pretty much for you know, all your card sizes. Hayley Kay just saying on YouTube, I wasn't going to order, but after seeing them, I've ordered the whole set. Yes, Hayley Kay. Uh, the balloons would be perfect for children's cards. Yeah, the balloons, the cupcakes. Honestly, there's something for every occasion. You've got the hearts in there, the fact that you've got all the frames in there too, that you can decorate up with your own photos or you know whatever you want to pop on them. I just think they are absolutely super versatile. Get them now whilst you can. We are into the home stretch really. Last 40 minutes or so of the show, and I know there's lots more demos to come. We are nearly at, right, get this, 40% of the stock has gone. 
Um, I knew these would be popular, but I don't think I ever thought that this many would be going in uh, just under an hour and 20. 90 pounds or $105, uh, that equates to 72, uh, or, um, 72 or 84 dollars, yeah, if you're platinum. If you want to go the multi-buy way, you can, two for 30 or two for 35. You can go for them individually should you want to as well. But actually, like Hayley Kay's just done, jump in all the way and grab these because you will absolutely love them. Um, well, yeah, well, you've, what you've got to remember as well, Ben, this is unprecedented times for us. This is the first time ever when we've had a brand new launch and you have bought 100% of the stock before we've actually launched. So if you weren't here at the start of the show, actually the amount of you that pre-ordered this over the weekend, because if it's a new launch on a Monday, Ben, our core customers have learned, the guys put it live on the website on Friday before they go home for the weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of doing it, normally it's the night before. So it went live on the website on Friday night, just for those of you that know how to find it. We came in this morning. Do you know what the message, the post-it note on my desk said? There's Help. only 12 left. <laughs> That's, uh, no, way, that was true, Dad. There's only 12 left. And then they came through and said, what do you want to do? Because it's good. The, the 12 will have gone. They've probably gone by the time I've spoke to you about this now, Sarah. So what you are doing is, our net, we knew these were going to be popular. So we quickly ordered a second shipment months ago. And our second shipment is actually due to arrive into the warehouse any day now, today, tomorrow time. So you are now pre-ordering from our next shipment. So when Ben's giving you the stock updates, that's not the stock updates on what we had. That's all gone. That's on the stock update of the next lot, which will be everything then. I mean, this is literally probably the number one biggest selling launch we've had, certainly we've had this year, probably that we've had in the last 12 months. Yeah, and that's saying a lot because we've had some big launches here and some big numbers going out the door. So um, seriously, get it whilst you can. Um, yeah, 40% of, yes, it's almost like 140% of the stock has gone, isn't it? Really, that's how it all equates to. But don't miss out, get it now whilst you can. Any more questions that you want to ask, by the way, um, about this collection, let us know about those. Anything specifically to do, if you've missed, uh, to do with what you get in the collection, um, you know, sizes and things like that, uh, anything that you particularly want to see, do let us know. Uh, the usual way to get in touch is Facebook, of course, and on YouTube. Let let us know which is your favourite component of the collection as well. If you've already ordered this, which is the first die that you're going to be using from the collection? Will you be going for the balloons or the cupcakes? Will it be the hearts that you'll be going for? Uh, let us know which you'll be using first. Um, you can get social with us on our Facebook page and YouTube and know that just by doing that, you'll be a step closer to winning our prize for uh, National Craft Month in our uh, Monday Makers show from 7 this evening. Right. Let's do some more, shall we, twist and popping? Come on, let's have another go with them cupcakes. The, the cupcakes and balloons are my favourite. That's why they're in the HSN bundle and the bundle that we've got here. I absolutely love, though, the presence and the hearts, Ben. I just, I know most of the samples have gone down to Create and Graph, but it's brilliant to be able to show them boards and people be able to see how they work. All I would say is, once you, don't think of this of, oh, I just might go for a couple of designs, because the thing is, every card that you make, can be completely elevated with a twist and pop in the middle. Yeah. Right? So it's not a, oh, well, I'm going to use these creator cards or I'm going to use these edibles today or am I making this card with this hunky dory paper pad or am I doing this with the Sarah signature? Every single one that you make, you can elevate that by putting the twist and pop mechanism in the inside and just give the inside that bit of a boost. So to me, having that versatility, so you've got the balloons, you've got the presents, you've got the, um, the fabulous cupcakes, so they, do, they have things like birthdays and things like that. The hearts are brilliant for things like your anniversaries and your wedding cards and your love cards. Then we've gone really generic with the ovals and the, and the rectangles, so that basically between them six, you can cover every single occasion the whole year through. And those little ovals and rectangles will be perfect for your photograph ones as well, if you want to put little photos inside. So that's why I would say I'm going to do the cupcakes here, Ben, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out, if I get these cupcakes, it's a two-part die system. They're all two-part die systems, okay? And the idea is that one part is going to cut out of just some plain cardstock. Will you fit on there? Just about, just about fit on there. And I'll pop this on here. And that's going to go through once. And then with your other die, so this is the inside one. This is the main one with all the detail on there. I'm going to cut this bed. Now, they're all the right size, those of you who are using these in your Gemini Junior, 
These are all the right size to fit through your junior. So they'll go through your junior lengthways. They are a little bit on the long side. So what you'll probably find is you need to send them through and then send them through, you know, nudge them up and send them through a second time as it was. Yeah. Or if you're going through your regular Gemini or if you're going through your Pro, they'll go through first time. So you need to do the, the kind of top bit and the shadow and then separate to that, you're going to do the uh, mechanism. So I'm going to do the mechanism on craft card this time, just oh, for a little okay. bit of a change, right? So once we get that first thing cutting through here, they can come off there. And then I'll put the mechanism in here as well. So I'll put this right up at the top so that we can save ourselves a whole kind of three or four seconds burn. And we can pop that in. I can do the bet, cut and then return out. So I've got the base. There we go. I've got the actual cupcake. Here it is. So if I, oh, let's have a look. I didn't quite cut you off the top there. There's my cupcake to go on there as well, Ben. And then I've also got, as I've just knocked it out here as well, you've got, oh, look at this. I didn't send. This is what I get, Ben. Oh, what's happened? Uh, well, I didn't send, because I was trying to save uh, the time. I stopped it before it had cut the too edge. Too early. Right. So I will just recut this again, Ben, and stop trying to save myself all of six seconds, <laughs> and we'll just cut it in regular time, should we? That That is a lesson learned right there for me, that, folks. Yes. Especially when we've still got 36 minutes remaining, you see. It was I almost know. as if, you know, you were thinking we were heading towards the end of the show, but still plenty of time. Just go to show, though, um, the fact that you have got that forward uh, pause and reverse function on the Gemini, which is, <laughs> I know is what... Uh, Summer uh, was wanting to show you there. Have you got a new top on, by the way? I keep meaning to say. Oh, yes, I might have a new... Uh, well, it's HSN week this week. Ah. Uh, and because I've lost a couple of pounds... Oh, oh, my life. What's going on now? Well, now I didn't tape it in. <laughs> so when you don't tape it, you yes, end up yeah. only just cutting a little bit. So, I was trying to save cardstock then. I was trying to only use That's a little bit. That's isn't it? Totally forget all of that. Yeah. And what you should do, folks, is do as I say, not as I do, right? Otherwise, you'll end up not saving card, but wasting card. Yeah. But you're going to take the time to actually tape this down. And then you're going to send that whole thing through your machine and yeah. have the patience to wait all of 15 seconds or whatever it is and it will cut perfectly. Because if you pause it and reverse it, you do stand the chance of it not cutting properly. And if you don't tape it down, uh, what might happen is the die might move and then it might not give you the cut but that, yes. you would, uh, that you would want. <laughs> but yes, I was telling you, I have got a new top. It's HSN week. So I, yes. I've bought several new tops to oh. wear for my HSN shorts. Just to say, so. I was um, supposed to be receiving some new, because I feel a bit bad, because you've got your new, you know, your new flashy top on over there, and I did actually buy some, um, some new tops. I bought some new trousers as well, because I think producer Johnny and I had old in me trousers for most of last week, but thankfully you don't see the bottom half. Um, did you have the I, same trousers on all week? Well, no, not all week. I bring up like two pairs, but my, my favourite comfy pair had a hole in. Um, so <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm standing so close to the counter today, I ordered some new trousers uh, and some new shirts. I haven't got any on, they haven't arrived. So that's why I'm standing, no, no, they, no, I ordered, right? I was really excited because I ordered some new like snazzy shirts and some new trousers and stuff. And I did it with that company. You say, if you order for 10, they'll give you Guaranteed next day delivery. They're the one that say they say if you order for 10 p.m. the night before, you'll get it next day. That one. And they didn't come next day. Of course they didn't. No, of course, of course they, they didn't. didn't. They arrived this morning, didn't they? At nine o'clock. <laughs> and I wasn't there. Next day. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, but anyway, because I was what I wanted to get was a purple top because that's one thing I haven't got. You see, for the days you know when we're, we're all doing. Well, our, we're all purpley. Purpley, yeah. Uh, like today, I'm yeah. all purpley. So but been... this is one of them special ones where by closes, right, oh. and it just looks like a black top. Oh, Probably hello. doesn't now because I've stretched it all day. But then, then as it stretches out, it's purple inside. So oh. it's like black, but it's like hidden purple inside. It's very clever. Wow. Looks very fancy. It yeah. does look very fancy. Yeah. The shirt I, was I got like was it. just. Purple. So, right, do you want me to show you how this goes in the Yes, picture? carry on. Right, so what I'm doing is tape pen onto the back of here. And notice what I've done is I've used tape pen where it's appropriate. And then I've used the dotty tape pen on the bits where it wouldn't be appropriate, right? Because you, you don't want the that showing through. Now, can you see that sticks down perfectly like so? But then the only issue with this, Ben, is, right, these already have the score lines built in. Yes. But it doesn't on this back piece. So then what you need to do is you need to bring in, like, one of your scoring boards, and you're just going to score all the way down 
that one there. Can you see? So we, yeah. get, we score right down the middle. You're going to be a little bit more careful than me, right? Here we go, down the middle of that one. And then, so you've got that really nice kind of tight score line. And all I've done here is I've actually used my score master and I've just put my pencil mark down the middle so that I can see it easily top and bottom. And then when you fold them over and you give them a nice bit of a crease, it just means that you get a nice fold both inwards and, and kind of outwards as well. So mountains and valleys, you want to fold them really nicely both ways. Yep, so that's one way. And then this is the other way. And we've got all those nice crease lines in. So there's our like cupcakes kind of standing out. Beautiful. And then what I've done then is I've got a set here that I've just coloured in and I've done the colouring using my tri bend so that I can get that lovely kind of blend on there Ooh, yeah. with some sparkle over the top. So you've got that lovely sparkle over the top. So we've got our mechanism and then we've got our cupcakes ready and let's get the card sorted. So what I've done is, just for ease, I've already, I haven't done the front of it yet, but I've already done the inside of the card and just use that lovely watercolour florals pad that we've got. I love the 12 by 12 pads because when you cut them into 6 by 6 mats and layers, you've got the nice watercolours around the outside. Now, remember this is what we're doing. So there's our mechanism, folks, right? Once you've got your mechanism, and if you folded it both ways, you'll find that it'll just fold into place like that, no problem. I've overfolded mine, so don't worry. All you're gonna do, watch, is you're gonna put a little bit of tape on. So, if, and, and actually, if you're worried about the mechanism at all, you can always do That's this, because I've idea, used craft card. To <laughs> I hadn't planned to do this, folks, but it's actually a really, really good tip. Makes it a bit more In robust. Fact, I think I'll do it on both sides. Yeah. So I'll just make that a little bit more robust still onto here. Because like you right? say, you know, especially with kids, it's going to be open, close, open, 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 close, loads. open, close, open, close, isn't it? So, and nobody's ever going to notice that you've got a little bit of tape on no. here. You know, it's never going to make any difference, but we've just strengthened it a little bit, right? No, oh, total top tip there, right? So I'm just making sure, notice what I did there, Ben. I put the, I'm going to get right up close on here, right? So I put the tip right up against that fold line. Oh, she's coming in, I'll move with you, Charlotte, so I stay right in the middle. There we go, right? There we so go, yeah. we're right in the middle, I put it right up against that fold line. Oh, you see all the marks on me now. Did me nails last night, ready for this show, and then got all the marks on, right? Then watch what happens when I actually close it over, right? And open it up, it just pushes it down ever so slightly, right? So I've got it to a place where, by, right, I'm really comfortable with that. Now, watch this, I'm putting the tape on all the way around all the sides. And notice I'm not being at all sparing with the tape. Every last little piece of that you can see has tape on, Ben. Yep. Then we just close that down. Yep. Stick that. Open it over. Oh. And then we've got that stuck really, really well to that side. Then I'm going to do exactly the same. Tape down here and down the pointy bits. Make sure you've got tape all over all of it. And again, I'm just angling that to the camera and the, to the light. So you can see I've got tape on the whole thing. And then I'm going to do the same. I'm going to close that up. And then what I would say is, Ben, just make sure these are really, really well stuck into those corners, right? Because if they're going to kind of come away anywhere, that's where they're going to come away, yeah. right? So it's into those. I'm over egging the pudding here a little bit, but it's into these corners in here where I've seen some of the cards that our designers have done and they've sent them in. That's where they've started to come away. Or they've used a wet glue and then what happens is the wet glue just tears the cardstock a little bit. Yeah. Whereas if you use your tape pen, they're absolutely perfect to get that mechanism spot on into there. And then once we're there, your actual... Oh, don't you be falling off there. Right. So your actual little cupcakes, what I'm doing is I'm going top left and then bottom right onto here. And I like to do it this way, Ben. So I like to just touch on the cupcakes on the top, right? and then touch on the cupcakes on this side with the bend kind of part way in the middle. But then I haven't pushed them into place because what I want to do is I want to fold this into place so that when we fold it and it starts to twist over, are they going to lie in the middle perfectly? And actually they do. Yeah. So you're just going to try that mechanism a couple of times. Once you're happy that it actually is exactly where you want it, then it give down. this a good rub there. Mm and a good rub over here to just set all of that into place, which now means that the more you operate the mechanism, the more comfortable that card Love will it. become. Love when it. you see it from the front, I mean, I'm going pretty fast on that there, Ben, now. Yeah, you are. And it's working absolutely perfect. <laughs> and the fact that we've strengthened that, which nobody would ever know underneath, 
with that extra bit of tape actually for all that was a happy accident i think that's quite a nice little thing I to do. teach everyone there yeah yeah and then actually you don't need to see me decorating the card because i've got another card that i want to do after this if i show you this one here all I'd done was something really nice and simple on the front of this card. I think it looks really, really effective. But it doesn't need to have an awful lot going on with it because this is how Hello. it's going to be displayed. You know, when it's on the mantelpiece, this is how people are going to be looking at it. As much as it might look like a really nice trendy card from the front, this is how it's going to be remembered and looked at, isn't it? Absolutely is. And it's going to be taken down off the mantelpiece and opened and closed and put back on the mantelpiece. Oh, yes. And someone else will come along, open and close it. Um, I love that tip. Great idea just to kind of make the actual mechanism a bit more robust with a bit of tape on there. And also just to give it a bit of an open close before you send it as well. So it will make sure that the mechanism is kind of in its uh, best possible way, I suppose, before you send this off to the recipient. How brilliant is this collection though absolutely love 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 it it is flying out of the door unsurprisingly and um, talking about the different adhesives that we've got of course don't forget we do have a specific adhesive bundle for this as well um, on this show so if you do need to stock up um, on your adhesives or maybe this is one of the first things that you're buying off us and you're thinking ah which of the adhesives do i need to go for uh, we have got them all here for you uh, the tape pen which you've seen uh, sorry using um, a lot you're going to get your glue tape pen so you've got 22 uh, meters 72 feet of your glue tape pen there we're also throwing in your uh, all-purpose glue and then you've got your red liner tape and i love the fact that we've given you um, two rolls of different thicknesses so 10 meters on each that's your three mil and then you're getting uh, a 10 meter roll of your 12 mil as well. So you've pretty much got uh, there everything that you need. 10.50, 17.50 is the price, saving 20%. And then another 20%, of course, if you are a uh, platinum member, 8.40 or $14 is the deal on that one. Right, as far as our um, main collection is concerned, as I say, flying out of the door, we are now over 40% of the stock gone. Do you want to have a quick look at the boards again and just show you all of the different mechanisms that you're going to get? Remember, you get the mechanism um, itself within the bundle. If you do want to go for that individually, you can do. That, that's the great thing about this today, isn't it? If you just want to go for the mechanism, you can. If you um, want to go for um, individuals, you can do. If you want to go for a multi by two for 30 or two for 35, you can do. But if you love everything about this collection, like we do, you can get it today already with a discount 2593 or 2465 and if you're a platinum member get another 20 percent off go for the whole lot today because you just know you will come back to this time and time and time again there's your balloons then you're going to get these cupcakes seen a lot of these cupcakes in the show but you, do you know why because they are just brilliant and how easy is it just to get that mechanism going um to stick these down and then away you go and i love the fact like you know if you want to go over the top with the sort of outside of your card then you've got that extra surprise inside as well but then you know what you can make things a little bit more simple for yourself and have the big surprise within the card with your twist and pop die this is um, one of the frames that you're going to get and again this is great isn't it for the fact like sarah was saying you've kind of got everything Thing covered off here because if you want to decorate this with the little embellishments that you've got I quite like, like that little key and the little keyhole that you've got there so you know perfect for a new home card maybe uh, maybe for um, key to the door cards you know for um, 21 those kind of things then that's perfect but then actually if you just want to decorate up the frames yourself with um, with pictures you know Christmas time whatever it might be you've got the ability to completely personalize those cards as well and it's the same with the oval frames exactly the same Again, I love the little embellishments here. You've got your little uh, mirror there. You've got your little uh, your lipstick, your little lippy, and your atomizer. That was the word I was looking for, atomizer. Just remembered it. Uh, that comes with this. And there you go. Look, you can see again, it looks just beautiful as is. But then if you want to, you can stick your own little photos on there. You can stick on your own embellishments as well. And I'm sure you've got within your collection lots of little dies that you can add to kind of theme that card exactly the way that you want it to be. Uh, and then we are on to the presents. I mean, again, just how great are these? Perfect for all sorts of occasions. You know as well, the kids are going to absolutely <laughs> love these. I honestly think there must be a way to be able to do a little pop-up book with these. We've seen that scrapbook demo of Sarah's already over there. Uh, demo of the week dem demo of the week scrapbooking twist and pop um yeah so you've seen that one over there but also for you know pop-up books with the kids too i just think this is absolutely brilliant i'm losing track of as to where i am now i might have already shown you these but i'm just having so much fun i think i'm going around again i'm not getting bored uh, that is the setting lots of love with those hearts I there love too them hearts, they ben. are I brilliant love the hearts. they are brilliant i think yeah i started with the balloons i started with the balloons uh, so all 33 elements don't forget you get the mechanism of course you do within the bundle 90 pounds or 105 dollars dispatching from next monday and don't forget 
get the other brilliant thing is if you're looking for ideas if you're looking for inspiration if you are brand new to this and this you're thinking to yourself oh i really like this idea but i'm going to forget how to do it all don't worry because you can watch this show back and of course as we've mentioned two weeks tomorrow there's a craft along with this as well so as sarah said you know she said this a few weeks ago when we kind of uh, mooted the idea of having these um, craft classes and craft along shows that we would bring these new launches to you and then we would back them up we would follow them up with designated classes for you a lady of a word that is exactly what we are doing so you're never alone so pop it in your diary two weeks tomorrow as i say what yeah you should ask everybody is there something special there they you go. want to do there you go so what do you want to do in the craft along do you want to learn a certain technique did you like the scrapbooking have you seen some of the other cards is there something you would want us to do and we can make that that uh, um, craft along as advanced as you want it to be yep yeah, that's it get in touch in plenty of time you know we will do what you want us to do you know if you want us to do the uh, twist and pop dance for two hours let us know we're absolutely well, she is happy to do that. Uh, Facebook and YouTube, uh, you can get in touch with us. Uh, hi to Paula Dupree Brown on Facebook, who's just said, OMG, I've just found the page where I can comment. Uh, welcome, Paula. Love these demos, and I can't wait to receive the dies. You are going to have so much fun. Right, we're going to come back to some uh, more demos and just say, say some more. We've only got 20 minutes remaining. Uh, but listen, if you are after some 12 by 12 papers, then you are in luck, because that's what we're looking at as part of our Get It, Got It, Good Deal this week. Uh, yeah, so basically, uh, three, I think, of your most favourite paper pads of recent times. Um, you have got your uh, Summer Sunset in there, your Decadent Decor, and there's the uh, Navy Blush in there too. These have flown off the shelves at full price, but the way this works out this week, all right, because it's your Get It, Got It Good, um, you get two, and you get the third one, three. Three, three, two, you, bu you, you buy, buy two! No, 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 I'm doing it! You buy two! You get one free! Yes, thank goodness you're here, Sarah. 39.98 or 49.90. Um, they are a lovely, lovely collection, and that is the Get It Got It Good deal uh, here while stocks last, uh, or indeed up until the end of the week. Wow. Just as uh, by the by, obviously we put the uh, little adhesive collection together. Um, Carol's asking. Could you use uh, the red liner tape for? Oh, your red liner well? would be perfect, absolutely perfect. The one thing that I would advocate not using, as ridiculous as this sounds, is like a tacky glue. Yeah. Now, usually I say go for it with a tacky glue because it's nice and strong. What I've found is a lot of our designer samples, and I feel awful that I'm going. Yeah, here we go. Here's one, right? I'm not going to say who this is, right? But look, a lot of the designer samples they've stuck them together with tacky glue oh. and then look with a lot of handling which these have had in the office they start to get like this yes so you don't want that you want them to stick really really well so remember what i've just shown you that one that we've just done where sarah stuck it down very very thoroughly have a little look at that from the inside look how nice and tight that is because that is done with a, a non-wet glue you know it's done with a tape pen that's going to stick down perfectly well so tape pen or red liner tape are the two that i would absolutely advocate using and in my last demo because i've saved an awesome one for last uh, in my last demo i will remind you again how you get that really really good stick in fact i'll see if we can find some red liner and i can do one of them with red liner to show you i've got some want. over here if you want to borrow some have you oh, yeah. I'll, I'll check my drawers out ben all right and if my drawers are not fruitful uh, <laughs> which they're not we've got loads of wet glue uh, yeah i'll have your red liner you'd have too. to open one of the new packets though if you're allowed to do that it's all right we use loads of it all so, right well, I'll like, just... go on throw i'll catch there's no way go on i'm gonna catch i'm gonna catch it well, if you actually throw it to me, then I'll catch it. No, I did. That one, that one was light. They went, they went Sorry, down on I the just... Yeah, yeah. How are How are How are you, man? Go on, old man. Right. He's there, he's there, climbing down on the floor. He's struggling. He's struggling. I am. Right. This red liner tape would be absolutely perfect because this is the nice, super thick one. This is the 12 millimetre red liner tape. So yes, get yourself some of the 12 millimetre one and this will be absolutely perfect to work with, right? So I'll use that one, Ben, as we're coming. Don't have soggy looking cards like this. No. Not good. We don't want that finish on your cards, okay? Right, here's what we're gonna do. We are going to do this one here which is like a double pop-up. Oh, blimey. Right? So, again, all closes up, opens up and makes a double... Oh, man, I've got 
there you go. Stuck you there. Oh, look, this one needs a bit of red liner oh, tape on. Oh, is that the glue as well? A repair job. In fairness, that was more me and my finger there catching it as opposed to anything else. Right? So if we've learned something from the last five minutes or so, yeah, it's definitely use your tape or your glue tape pen. Yes, there we go. So I'm going to just pop this on in here, Running do a repairs. nice repair job on it, right? And then peel this off. I hope you can see what I'm doing because I'm not at all looking at where the camera is or what the camera's managing to see. Charlotte's right in there on the old uh, joystick and buttons today. She <laughs> is on fire today. <laughs> um, that's your team in the gallery, by the way, today. Kate, I think I have mentioned you've got producer Johnny. And uh, Oh, did you know, by the way, Sarah? He's Go just on. reminded me. Go on. Did you know... Right, that we have got the technology here now right. um, to be able to hear. I mean, I know you and I can hear producer Johnny and um, director Charlotte, um, right. but you, we can. Hear, our, our viewers can hear them as well now. Can they? Yes. How do they do that? Watch this. Watch this. Right. How do I, we watch it? I thought we could hear. Them. No, you are. You're going to hear. So I'll say I'm hello. Here. I'll say hello to Charlotte. Okay, get ready for this. <laughs> Hi, Charlotte. Hi. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 this is even better, this is even better. Okay, we'll do, we'll do producer Johnny as well, because this is great. All right, producer Johnny? All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favourite new thing. It's, my, it's literally my favourite new thing. And I get to speak to them all the time, you know, in like the, but the fact that we can speak to them in the studio as well is just brilliant. We don't want to hear from them more than that, you know. Just hello and an all right is enough. Uh, you know, we don't give them too much access to the button, but that, that is just my, my favourite thing. But now we've found the button. The world is our oyster, folks. The world is our oyster. You can meet the whole team. Right. Had our best get on since we've only got a bit yeah. of about 15 minutes left for me double <sighs> pop out card. Now I've repaired it. And again, the mechanism's just working awesome, isn't it? Right? Yeah. So let's have a little look. What I've got <laughs> is, is I've got the actual card. So I've folded the card together, Ben. It is two cards that I've just joined together along the back. Can you see that? Yes. So I've just joined them together. And my actual cards here, can't remember, it was five by, I've gone quite tall, five by eight. Okay. Right? So five by eight for the actual cards. Now, if we just get everything kind of matted and layered up first, and I can be taking any questions while we're doing this if we want, can you see I've just got the matting and layering kind of ready to go? So I'm just going to stick them on the outsides like this. Yes. Go for it, Ben. Um, I'll I tell you what I will do very quickly. Um, I just want to quickly show you, um, whilst your comments are still coming in, last chance to get in your questions, by the way, if you have got any questions. The uh, National Craft Month prizes, um, just very, very quickly indeed. So we're giving away a prize each and every day just for commenting, and we'll announce the winner in our third show of the day, so between 7 and 9 UK time. This is the prize that you can win today, uh, which is unbelievable. I thought this was one of these per day, uh, but today you've got the decorative lace border in there, you've got uh, your Born to Fly stamp set, you've got cut and embossed folders in there, you've got three uh, pieces from Sharon Callis's Butterfly uh, collection, which is your Vanessa, your Mariposa, you've got that die in there, which is your um, quilling die. You've got um, layering um, dies in there. Uh, you've also got corner dies, you've got stamps, and you've got your shutter card, uh, card making kit included too. And that badge as well, wherever that's just gone. Um, so if you want to win all of those goodies, just get commenting. Last chance saloon to get in any questions, as I say, and we'll announce the winner of that in Monday Makers, which is coming up uh, seven o'clock UK time. We've got to get used to these new times. Um, and obviously during that show, we're going to be focusing on the um, rotation stamps and those um the village dies as well which are just brilliant i think i'm um, proving very popular for those people who are into perhaps like their um their trains and um decorating their um like christmas trees and things like that as well i think hugely popular for that uh, but that is all coming up a little bit later on um, oh it's a good so, day coming it's a it good is day. a good day right what i've done is ben is i've matte and layered the inside four pieces then on the front here, what I'm gonna do, I've got a nice long piece of ribbon, right? I'm gonna stick my ribbon over the front like this, right? And then to keep that closed, I've got here the whole of the um, the whole of this kind of front panel. And so that this makes kind of like a little book. Well, this might be a nice one to do for the craft along, mightn't it? Oh yeah. Well you just let us you just let us know what you fancy though, folks, okay? Because it's your craft along. We'll make it whatever you want. So that then gives me the ability to wrap this round yeah. and tie this at the side, right? So we're ready now just to put our mechanisms in the inside. So we want one here and one here. 
So let's have a little look. We're going to go balloons again, folks. So for anybody who missed these before, right, the whole trick is this you're going to cut in the shadow and then this one you're going to cut in the main piece. So what I'm going to do, Ben, is I'm going to cut the shadow in the black uh -huh. and I'm going to cut my main piece in the white here. And I'm just going to set them all up on my uh, large Gemini place. If you don't have the large Gemini, but you've got the junior, they work in just the same way on the junior. It's just they're a little bit long for the junior plate. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to send them through your junior plate twice. So you're going to have to send them through the front bit and then feed them along a little bit and then send them through the next piece. Um, just to say as well, as we're seeing this um, demo come together, isn't it nice? Because again, I looked at that card initially and thought to myself, that looks terribly difficult to do. But then when you see how it's all broken down, again, really, really achievable. Really achievable. And um, like Sarah was saying, uh, two weeks tomorrow for uh, this collection on your craft along. If there's anything that you particularly want to see. And indeed, if you want to be a guest, if you want to craft along with us live on TV, how awesome would that be? Uh, you can get in touch with us. Just uh, email the studio, studio at craftlesscompanion.co.uk. Um, and we would love to see you, even if you've never done it before. Go on, give it a go. Give um, it a go. I've forgotten how many times I hear from, you know, um, people who've been on like craft alongs or craft house and they go, oh, I was really nervous, nervous at the start, was really worried. And by the end of it, they're, they're doing cartwheels. You know, they're jumping around all over the place. So if if you're one of those people thinking, oh, shall I, shan't I? Uh, then you should definitely, definitely give it a go because we'll have a brilliant time. And we're all, we're all pretty nice here, to be honest with you. You know, most, Pretty nice. Most of the time. Most, most of, of us, time. most of the time, I would well, say. Well, you've heard how, how lovely our producer, Johnny and director Charlotte are, so, you know, that's who you're going to get to chat to. Yeah, exactly right. Exactly. Right. Are you ready to see this? So this is how your balloons look, Ben, but you're going to do them all coloured in. Of course right? you are. So I've coloured these in with um, my noir pens. So I've coloured them in with... Um, any of your alcohol ones that give it that bit of a finish. So you've got that shined right through the back, but then actually I've added the sparkle pen on the top. So all I'm going to do is, is use my tape pen and stick the whole thing together, Ben. Okay. Um, Judy B just saying, oh my golly, I've never seen a company give so much away at one time. CC really knows how to treat their customers, feeling the love. Judy B, I'm exactly the same as you because um, this is my first day back after um, three or four days off so I knew that we were doing the giveaway I never honestly when when I had the envelope put in front of me I thought it was Tuesday prize from the envelope you've got one prize to give away a day no we're giving away the whole lot that's how much that's how much we love producer Johnny Cisco you should see the rest in there's hardly enough room in the gallery with all the freebies we're giving away for National Craft Month producer Johnny can hardly get in there to be honest with you um, we've got loads to give away each and every day during the month we're giving away prizes um, Hadassah saying got my first CC order can't wait to get stamping um, and just a quick one from uh, Lena on Facebook who's asking will the dies go through the midi Yes, they will, but they'll do exactly the same as what I was just saying about with your regular yeah. Gemini. You'll have to put them through and then knock them on a little bit and put the next piece through as well, because they're a little bit too long. As long as they are not wider than six inches, yeah. they will technically go through any of these machines. But because they're longer, they're wider and longer, you're going to need to send them through and then edge them up a little bit. Good news for, uh, for everyone, pretty much. Um, over 40% of the stock has gone now. We're down to the last uh, seven or eight minutes. You do need to start voting. By the way, check out your baskets. And once we've seen this final demo from uh, Sarah, we'll, we'll get you voting. I mean, this is going to be a toughie because we've had the cards, we've had the scrapbook page. Now we're having the, I don't even know what you call this one. The, like a, has it got a special double, name? This is a like double? a double ballooner. A double balloon. We had the floating balloons with the acetate on there as well. Oh yeah, the floating balloons card. Oh, blimey. Oh, by the way, uh, tomorrow on um, Wake Up Call with Craig, if you like balloons, tune in, because I'm going to teach him balloon modelling. Oh, that's why I've seen some balloons kicking around. Yeah. But, uh, bear in mind, though, I haven't done it for about 10 years, so I'm going to have to relearn it myself <laughs> before we even start this show. <laughs> oh, well, that's the job for tonight, then, Ben. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, oh, dear, I'm going to have a great night tonight, aren't I? Well, the great thing is, now that Wake Up Call is like... Uh, just eight o'clock in the morning, isn't it, for East, East yeah. Coasters? Um, slightly earlier, six o'clock for those on the West Coast. No, five o'clock, isn't it? I haven't done the maths right there. Five still, eight, yeah. that's totally time enough to be getting up, dozing, still in bed, watching us on your phone or something. I think that's absolutely fine. I do. I just um, warn you tomorrow that if you are listening to us dozing, you might be woken up by a few balloons popping. So I'll just get you, uh, yes. get maybe, you ready for Maybe that. we're not dozing tomorrow. No. Right, let's have a little look, Ben. So what I want you to do is I want you to cut two of these out now, right? 
And can you see, I've already cut mine out, just in the interest of kind of speeding things along. When you've got them cut out, the trick is you need to fold and burnish these crease lines both ways. Now, I would definitely recommend, if you can, using a thicker cardstock for doing this, so that like, the stamping card, perfect. The black card, absolutely perfect. You want something that is that little bit stronger so that it can cope with the mechanism of being opened and closed, opened and closed, yeah. loads and loads of times, right? Now, if you are using the red liner tape, which I said was a tremendous idea, watch what I want you to do, okay? I want you to go along the bottom part like this. So he's the, he's the wider red liner tape, right? And then I'm also gonna go along this way like this. So we've got some at the top, some at the bottom. Yep. So can you see, you're basically getting that red liner all over the base there. So it's super, super strong. So I'll just show you that one again, so we can go right along. Thank you, you're going to go right along the edge, yep. and you're going to get it along the very, very base of this part here. Details on the bottom of your screen, by the way, Johnny's just popped up for the, um, the Twist and Pop Adhesive Collection, which includes your red liner tape, the 12 mil, the 3 mil, uh, you've got your collal, and you've also got a glue tape included in there as well for 10.50 or 17.50, worth popping in your basket. Perfect. And then all I would say is you probably want your pokey tool. I don't quite know where mine is, Ben, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel these pieces off here. The great thing about the red line, the tape, or indeed your tape pens, is basically what we're doing is we're using a dry glue. Yeah. Right? So it's not like a wet glue, like your PVA adhesives or whatever. You're using your dry glue, right? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my book now, right? And we're going to put these. Should we put them slightly near the top part, Ben? Yeah, right? I think it's worked, hasn't it? So nice they go like just near the top there and then close this over as well and you get that mechanism and because we've used the red liner tape this is going to stick perfect into that corner so can you see no matter how much that's getting used it's not giving at all right and then once we've got it on there what we do is we put tape on the top top left bottom right or top right bottom left however you want to do it make sure your mechanism still kind of intact in and working in the right way and then you're just going to slightly grab that one on there and slightly grab this one on here so i haven't actually full-on stuck them i've just slightly grabbed them and then as you kind of feel it into its way for the first closure then you can stick it really really well and that's how <laughs> we get that closure working and twisting and that. popping I love really it. really well right yeah. Should we do that again with the other one? Yeah, if you've got right, time. Right, so here is my mechanism. Yep. That red liner tape, get the 12 mil, and you're going to go right along the bottom. You want it really well stuck, right? And then you've got that point, so we're coming right along the, to the top with that other point. And you, notice I'm giving it a good rub with my fingers to make sure it's really well stuck. So I'm doing the same here. We're coming right along the bottom for a really awesome stick and then right along the top bit for an awesome stick again so two layers of the red liner whoever it was who asked about the red liner folks this was a really really good shout thank that was you, carol thank you carol because it's made me really show everybody this yeah and i think there's no point in doing awesome cards like this ben if then they're gonna like like a couple of the ones we've received from our designers they've used the wet glue and then by the time we've got them to the office and they've been handled and they've been through photography, they've been sent through to the second studio for more photography, you know, all of that lot. So much handling and they're starting to come away and that's not what you want. No. Red liner would absolutely stop that happening. And that's why you need to go for the adhesive bundle at the bottom of your screen because you've got, um, yeah, two lots of the <laughs> red liner in there with your tape pen um, as well. So definitely worth going for if you want to make sure that your mechanisms are going to be robust and... Um, you know, going to take the opening and closing, which you know is going to happen over and over and over again. Right, here we go. So I'm putting them together, and can you see, as we fold this in the first time, you're just very, very carefully manoeuvring it into place. Once it's manoeuvred into place, then you're giving it that really, really good stick, and then, oh, see, it needs a, just a bit more of a stick on there. Yeah. And you're just going to give it a good push down. So I'm just in this one here. Did you see where that was starting to want to come away? Just giving that a really, really good stick down. So that's already down here. So can you see, as soon as we push this in, yes. Now I'm happy. So that if I open this up, you can see both of these are going to pop up. And then both of these 
with a little bit more handling that's it you just need this one that one's had a lot of handling this yeah. one at this side needs a little bit more handling so we'll just give it a little bit more practice yeah we'll give it a little bit more practice it's now had the same amount of practice <laughs> as the other ones had as well right you're gonna burst some balloons in a minute <laughs> right now they can both pop up and both but they see what i mean ben they just need a little bit of handling now that is not me being gentle with these no. at all at all and you'll see they've really lasted well haven't they come on that's, that's what you want you want the kids i said when we do our gemini life testing and someone has to sit through for weeks and weeks and just keep putting them through the machine that, that's what yeah. you're doing here i don't i don't know about the scrapbook i think that was my favorite demo of the show we're just there <laughs> can i put you on the shelf sarah yeah uh, you can put me on the shelf but i'll look good on the shelf then we've only we've only got a couple of minutes left so I we haven't really got time to um to do a vote have we now you see so i reckon I reckon producer, actually producer Johnny has made an executive call and he's been looking at the comments coming through and as far as demos are concerned, Sarah, you'll be very pleased about this. The one that most people have commented on um, is your scrapbook yes. piece. So let's have another look at that. Is that there good? it is. Amazing. So that one's going up onto the uh, shelf. Will that be the winner? Will that be the demo of the week? And will Sarah be crowned once again uh, the crafter of the the week she's Ooh. very very much hoping because you let her down last week she did a, a scrapbook for you and everything the only person though who hasn't won yet so far um is is bernie and of course she's moved to a sunday now so we're just wondering whether or not that's going to be more in people's minds bernie's demo and whether she'll have the advantage but Ooh. we'll have to wait and see uh what a great show uh, there's still loads of you with goodies in your basket. We are at 50% of the stock gone. As you said, kind of like 150% really. Uh, but get it now whilst you can. Check out your baskets after the show and pop it in your diary two weeks tomorrow for the, uh, the Craft Along with this Twist and Pop collection. Sarah, when are you back? Uh, well, I've got HSN tomorrow. So I'm going to America tomorrow. Wow. Okay. So I'm going next door. Yes. So I'll see you when I get back from America. Okay, have a great flight. <laughs> um, I am back with you here in England uh, in two hours time gonna get this right monday makers uh, craig is gonna be here gonna be looking at those rotation stamps and those really cool vintage dies which i've not seen yet looking forward to that this is brilliant isn't it get yourself to the website check out your baskets uh, you'll enjoy these so much thank you so much sarah uh, see you guys in two hours time bye for now <laughs>